My real hope, though, is what I was telling you, is that they'll uh, use the remasters as a um, kind of a, a means of just increasing interest in that IP so that they can sell it to somebody who isn't a, a you know, piece of shit company. Uh, Fox, it finished downloading for you. Are you able to change color so that Sako can switch back? Then Sako's in his your token. Here, Sako. Cool. All right, let's get started then. Um, with all of that there, okay. So I guess we've already kind of started discussing our plan there uh, before we got interrupted with a shitty update. Sako, you said you're you're like early to mid. You said right before you'd be able to get a, a, a you know a friendly on yes. top of spike trap. Okay. I I will probably be one of the first. I will be very very early. Okay. Let's say early. Um, then I'm going to try to hit this demon, and I'm going to be hitting him, hopefully, as long as I don't screw it up. I'll be hitting him pretty hard. Let me take off the invisibility now. Um, uh, hopefully enough to get through that shield at least, and then hopefully do a couple points to him. Ben, what are, you, what are your plans? Uh, I think I'm actually going to use that stamina potion first. That doesn't take your turn, so you can do that in, you know, as soon as... Okay. You can do that now, basically, and get two of your cards back out of your discard pile. All right, and I can't remember, is it at random or do I choose them? You choose them, yeah. You get to choose two out of your discard pile. Sweet, okay. I'll be going pretty late in the round, in the latter half. Uh, oh shit, did I? Oh, I did it, okay, cool. Uh, Fox, don't forget, you have at least one prayer movement on your milestone card. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's only one so far. Did Becky? Did you? Because you gave Becky a prayer card too, didn't you? You and Becky both have one. Oh, Becky's playing hers right now. Okay, all right. So you'll be able yep. to put two up. <laughs> I can see the back of the card on yours, uh, Becky. So it's pretty easy to tell. Uh, Becky and Fox, you guys have your your plans then, since you got cards up. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go not really. Between like early and mid game, I guess. So it's uh, yeah. Are you still gonna be hitting that that cultist over there? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll see what's up on the board at the time. Um, I'm, I I can move a bit. Um, I'm hoping to move to loot, but if I can't loot, I'll at the very least try and kill something. Okay. Because if I could kill something, somebody could get a fair card. Yeah, we we. I think we're in okay enough shape that we're not in real danger of all exhausting, but Sako will likely exhaust in a couple of rounds here, so... You know, we'll, yeah, we'll I've got be, two at best. Yeah. Well, you, you could potentially get one more, maybe. Depends on, on if you, uh, you know, drop that uh, skeleton. Uh, but yeah, three rounds probably at the, at the outset. Ben, you got your cards ready? What you're playing? I'll grip those back up for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I was just trying to get this group back up. Um, actually, hang on. Good. I'm going to be hitting the demon that's that you're standing next to. Hopefully pretty hard. Um, we don't know yet what I'm they're going to be doing. So I'm going to swing at that skeleton, um, but I'm going to make that move that you told me to as well. Okay. You might be able I'm to... Sorry, he's got you... one shield, so depending on their hit, you might yeah. be able to kill him with the shambling skeleton if you're going to kill him anyway. Yeah, because he's a three. The shambling skeleton. Is it three attack? Uh, for that one, yes. Let me double check. Uh, three attack for sh yeah the corpse. No. Two for the skeleton. The skeleton is attack two. Yeah, the, your your yeah. zombie is a three. Yeah. The corpse. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> since they're both gonna play anyways, and you're gonna be moving the the zombie, you could use the zombie to also try to hit the wind demon to see if we can finish him off. But yeah. if this if the skeleton is able to kill this skeleton on that yeah. skelly v skelly attack. Totally. The uh the, the raging corpse is my attack three, so I would use the uh the raging corpse against the skeleton to knock out the uh, skeleton. Okay. Oh wait, no, that has a one shield. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Alright. And I'll use the other one for the uh, yeah, if the skelly wind demon. hits him. I, I would personally say to do it the other way, but however you want to do it. Uh, the thing is, as long as you're putting one of them into this spike trap square, and they're going to stay there and not be gone, 
if you're going to kill that skeleton, then that won't work, obviously, because because if he's if he's dead after your turn, then I wouldn't be able to pull off my my bigger attack against this demon here. I need somebody there for that attack to work. Ah, uh, the corpse has a six health, so yeah, the corpse the cor has much more health. Yeah, the corpse also hits harder, so the, the corpse has a higher chance of getting through the shield on the demon, mm -hmm. whereas the skeleton, yeah, as long as, yeah, as long as you're, depending on the modifier you roll. Uh, can yeah. hopefully get through enough to kill that, uh, that skeleton. Yeah, that, that was the plan. I'll, okay. I'll move the, the corpse on uh, spikes. All right, sounds good. Then... Uh, ben, uh, did you, did you already have yours uh, laid out as far as your initiative order? I see. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, be, I'll be going fairly early on. Okay. I'm going to be going after the same one that you are, uh, the Wind Demon 3. All right. Staying. Let's... Actually, I might be moving, but I'm probably going to stay here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So going after 3. Going okay. pretty early. So. Uh, I am at 69, so I'll be after Becky and before the last skeleton. Hopefully the skeleton's dead before then, but... So I'll probably be the last uh, to go here. Alright, uh, uh, Sako, your turn. So your undead's first, and then your regular turn. Alright. Sounds good. Then what I will do is... The, um... Uh, corpse... I'll just double check my thing real quick. Uh, the corpse will be moving on to the trap, which has already been triggered. Okay. Boom. And uh, he will attack the wind demon. Okay. I uh, see that's an attack of three. What's your modifier? Pull that modifier. Sorry, I got to pull out the dang thing. Yeah, Player no interface. Draw a modifier. All right, negative one. Damn it. All right, so no damage. It's an attack three, minus one, down to two. He's got a shield of two, mm -hmm. so no damage. And then my shambling skeleton, I will move just a little bit here. That's two movement spaces, so I'll move one, two right here. Okay. And it will attack uh, with two, plus the modifier, to the living bones. Okay. Eight. Modifier of plus zero, right. so it hits for two. He has one shield, that's still one damage, he's dead. One and two. He's already dead, so he had one hit point left, so you can click the defeat in his health bar there to kill him. Defeat, and you die. I'm clicking defeat. There you there go. There it goes. All right, and then now my user. Move my cards over here, sorry. No problem. Okay, for you, I'm going to use the uh, the 18, so I'm going to move myself and move my uh, creatures too, but I will choose to move only the skeleton. Uh, I just realized that door is broken because, well, that's fine. Um, you you, could, you should be able to just pick yourself and move yourself to the other side. I'm guessing because we reloaded it, the door is not open yeah. anymore, but yeah, just move yourself to the other side then. Yeah. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll move one, two, one, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Move my character here. I will choose not to move the raging corpse. I'll leave that as is. Hang on. Hang on. And it's you. That's you. Move your necro to, and then grant one of your summons a move to. Oh, one of my summons, not both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll move my necro one. Here. Okay. And then my second card, I will cast Heal uh, to one ally three spaces away. Uh, we don't have any uh, energy, so I can't uh, use any energy, so it's just going to be two health. And I'm going to cast that on uh, Banner Spear. Okay. Thank you. That's two to you. All right. Thank you. Here we go. All right. I'm at five now. And then I will move these to the pile. Yeah, both those are just discards. Uh, are you taking your Shambling Skeleton back or leaving him up? Um, I will uh, take the Shambling Skeleton back. Okay. So just so I'll that the move. mini doesn't get lost, I'm going to put it on your, on your thing. Because basically if I delete the... Uh... Here, I'll just drop it there. If I delete the map, it'll delete that mini as well. There you go. And I'm going to move these two cards forgot what the shortcut was just to move it straight but I'll just move it manually uh, well if you put them on there then you have the discard buttons right below oh the yeah the button yeah it doesn't matter either way it's fine there uh, you go cool all right then Ben that is your turn thanks for the heal taco yeah, I figured you'd need it 
Yeah, if, I get, if, if, if these guys hit, I could start losing cards to damage, which would suck, because we're going to need them to get these guys dead. What you doing, Holmes? Starting with the top of Slamming Shove, which is an attack with a possible push, but I don't think... I'm not going to push him, though, because I would just put him closer to... Um, I think it's yeah, Fox. Back, or the, yeah, Fox, Fox back, back there. there. Yeah. So I'm going to leave him where he is. So uh, an attack of three, uh, a move which uh, a push and a move which I don't need, and another attack of three. Okay. So hopefully you're I'm not going to do the move at all, or the push. You're just going to attack, attack. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay where I'm at, so we can focus on this guy, and then we'll move up to the other one. Sure. So, um, all right. So one damage to him, right, for the first part, because I drew a zero to so attack uh, three. Yeah. Zero attack three. Yeah, one damage. Okay. And then do I draw a separate modifier for the second yep. attack part? Yep. Okay. That's to save time, is it okay uh, if I do the short rest now? So we don't have to do it mid-turn yeah, turn next turn. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, your turn's already over right. for this turn anyway, so... Uh, and then the uh, bottom of the other one is basically just going to be a throwaway because I don't have anybody shackled, so... Yeah, you do. You still have that same demon shackled. Oh, I do, don't I? Yeah, well, you mind. shackled. That's why he wasn't able oh, yeah. to move last turn. Or last time. Okay. So another attack three against him. Actually, you know what? Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to push him then. Uh, Put him back. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't move him. I need him there for, for, for my hit. Okay. Um, but... Well, like, he hit anybody? No. Yeah, with no adjacent abilities. Uh, my, I can just skip my that hit's gonna be, your thing's better. My hit's going to be six. Yeah, then I'm just going to... He's just going to be chilling then. Okay. So that is it for me then. Okay. You could... I mean, you could use basic action to move if you wanted to. Uh, Would that benefit you in any way? Not this turn, but potentially if you moved over here, if that doesn't mess you up at all, uh, no. then one of my other abilities, I can use that kind of an arrangement if you okay. move to, to that square. Um, That's cool. Yeah, because as long as that doesn't get, as long as that doesn't prohibit you at all, I have another attack after this one that I might be able to pull off. But hopefully that guy will be dead before then. As long as I don't roll shit on my modifier, we'll be able to kill him this turn. It just won't be until after okay. his turn, so he, he might move and screw things up. But all right, that's it for turn G. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was too experienced on that one. But that's a lost card, but we're at the end, so... Yeah, exactly. But this is the right time to play lost cards, so... Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Fox, you've been playing a lot of Gloomhaven. Uh, do you want to run the, the Cultist? Yeah. Move plus zero, attack plus zero. There's only one Cultist, just him, so... Move two. He, hang on, he, I'm closer, so he would have to focus me. Who moved here first? You did? Or I did? Or I did? Uh, well, that wouldn't matter. Uh, it, it, it determines focus at the start of his turn, and you are to get to you, to get to the Hierophant, would take two hexes. I'm only one hex away, so he would have to choose me. He, he doesn't get a choice. Basically, the automatic AI would, would force him to go after the closest right. enemy, which okay. is me. So. No, let's attack one, so where's the enemy thing? Okay. Yay! No, so no attack in it at all. Right. Okay. Uh, and that cursed blast thing, that already went off, right? That's already gone. The what? The 10 damage that you play. Yeah, yeah, that, that all, uh, yeah, yeah, it went off last time. Okay. Alright, we'll pull that cursed. It's already gone from my thing, or it should be. Cool. Alright, then that's it for the cultists. That brings us to the demon. Um, well, shit, that's gonna fuck up all kinds of things. Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a basic action, which means my attack won't be as hard. Uh, alright. Target all adjacent enemies, attack plus zero. Wait, how's he getting... If he doesn't... If he pushes them, how's he getting any attack? It's not a ranged attack. Let me look at that card. Alright, uh, push plus one, attack, or target all adjacent enemies, which is... Uh, me and Ben and Sako's zombie, and then oh, it is it, no, it's not a ranged attack. So he, the, the attack's kind of pointless unless he unless we couldn't move unless he couldn't push us, which actually he can't push me because yeah he can't. Here, so the push is not yeah. so it, well it for, just for me, push. but it's it's all adjacent enemies, which is Ben. So Ben, you get pushed back one, uh, and Sako, your zombie would get pushed back one. Uh, ben, it doesn't get pushed back into my main character? It's As long as it's one extra hex away, it doesn't matter. It, so he would, oh, go, gotcha. he would go up here. Uh, ben, if you if you want to, you can have him push you onto this coin so that you can loot the coin for free. Um, 
and then Sako, your Ooh. zombie would get pushed back to there, which is still a push of one. Um, but there's no earth up, so he doesn't get the... I don't, I don't know. I, oh, shit, it is a... God damn it. I'm dumb. It's a ranged attack of four, so... He can't push me, because if you guys look at this arrangement here, there's a pillar behind me, so I can't go that way. The Hierophant is there, and uh, the Cultist is there, so I can't get pushed to away. Basically, it's a push of one, and I would need to be mm -hmm. one further hex away from him. So he can't push me. I, I'm stuck there, uh, which means that his attack against me... Wait, is it attack all? Target all? Yeah, it's his target all. Uh, Adjacent enemies, so it's anybody close to Well, that's to the push. That's not the attack. The attack well, is plus one. Attack. Yeah. Uh, which I'm just going to say is going to attack me, because he'll be a disadvantage. I have the best shot of, with it being a disadvantage of, of us pulling a curse. Because um, it's not a multi-attack, or it's not a multi-target attack. It was only the push that was multi-target. Uh, so the attack against me, then, will be attack three with disadvantage. Oh, and there's a curse. Hell yeah. All right, so we lucked out there. Uh, which that zero will still be in there, but the curse will come off. So that attack did nothing, and he did not move. He just did the push, so he still still have a... Oh, shit. I can't do my big hit now, because nobody's on that fucking spike trap. That sucks. All right, uh, Fox, your turn. Okay. Um, shit. Real quick, do you... Oh, that would put you in a bad spot, though. Mm hmm? Is there any way... Can you get onto this hex on this turn? Yep. If you can do that, I can still hit this guy and hopefully kill him this turn. If that doesn't mess up your plans. Where's the skelly? Is the skelly dead? Oh uh, yeah, Sako killed him. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine then. Um... So my move three. Okay. Oh, you were hoping to get that free bless for killing the skelly? Yes, yeah. yes, I was. Okay, so I guess I'll just attack this guy. Okay. And so that's three drum. Minus one, so that's two. Was that... that's a special card. Which one did you draw? What's the asterisk for? I don't know. Oh, is that supposed to... there's an asterisk on there. And on your card, there's an asterisk, but I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Let me look real quick. Oh, I guess all of your minus ones have that. Uh, why, I don't know why it has the asterisk on the uh, modifier card in the chat, though. All right. I was hoping uh, it was one of, like, a, you know, an add a heal or something like that, but apparently not. No, no, no. That's one of the... Remember we did something and somebody had to have, like, minus ones in their deck? That's right. That's the specialty one that I had to draw for this mission, so yep. it's going to be yep. gone after. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was we had, Each of us have, like, three extra minus ones in the deck or something. I took them all because I'm like, I don't do much damage anyway. Yeah. That makes sense why those are asterisks and not your uh, class icon then. Okay. Um, so that was an attack 3 minus 1, right? Yep, so that was attack 2. I already did the damage. Cool. Alright, then that brings us to Becky. Whoa, 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 hang on. I'm oh. using my potion. Oh, sorry, Fox. It's fine. I'm useless this round, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna use the bottom half of Petnitz for an active card. And now that Saka moved, there is no one within range, so I can't heal anyone. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Because I can't is... hit anyone either. So. Yeah. I mean, the door is open, but even still, yeah, the enemies are all outside of range for you. All right. So uh, the next two times an enemy draws a positive attack modifier card, treat it as a plus zero instead. Is that just on you, or is that on anybody? That's the next time an enemy. That's draws... all it says. Just the, the enemy. Okay. Yeah. So that's anybody then. Cool. All right. Wow, that is a, that's a really nice buff for just, you know having it as a prayer card. All right, uh, then in that case, since Fox was able to move over there, um, I was intending to do plus one to my attack to make this a plus six or a six attack, but uh, I have to use a basic action uh, to to line this up for pincer movement. So I'm going to do the bottom half of uh, Resolve Courage as a basic action to move over to here. And then I can do the top half of pincer movement with Fox on the other side. 
uh, to do an attack, uh, attack five rather, with muddle against this guy. So let's hope nice. I don't pull anything shitty here. Uh, oh, no, I have to do my my manually. Uh, hell yeah! Uh, well, I guess it's kind of a waste, but it was a bless of a uh, uh, times two bless. Um, nice. Where did we get blesses from? Oh, Fox, you you blessed me, didn't you? You were back. Mm -hmm. me. Okay. All right. Well, then he's dead because uh, that's ten damage, and he only has four left. Even after shield, he's still dead. All right. All right so he's down. That bless will go back. Uh, and that is... I get an experience, so that's it for my turn. Alright, uh, skellies are dead, so that's the end of the turn. Or end of round. Uh, go ahead and pick new cards. I gotta take a short rest. Reagan in the XP this round. So all we have left is that, uh, wind demon up top, and then we have the cultist, right? Yep, the one that Fox just wounded, so just those two left. Um, and there's coins, and then remember too, if somebody can get it, this this would be a bit of a stretch, because Ben and I will probably need to focus that demon down. Ah, oh, shit. Becky, if you want to try for it, something to keep in mind, guys. Uh, the mm -hmm. If you look at the map down in the bottom left, way over here, where I'm dropping these arrows, way down in the bottom left. You guys, just because it's been a couple weeks, you may not remember this. Uh, there is another treasure chest in here with some earth elementals. We don't want to... Tr ah, shit, never mind. If we open that door, we'll have to kill them, and that would be trouble. Would Wait, be trouble. do we actually have to kill them? Because does it say we have to kill all revealed enemies? It is. The goal is to kill all enemies, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. So, if we open that door, then we'll have to, we'll have to kill them. Um... So never mind. I was gonna say that we could try to go for that, but we'll, we'll need to do that on a different a different round because we'd be we would exhaust before we could get them dead. They have like 14 health each, and they also immobilize and stun and shit constantly. So never they're mind. basically a pain. Yeah, they're a huge pain to get killed. So if I don't want to get rid of this card, I take one damage and I draw another one, right? Yes. Yes. You know, that's a dumb question here. My approach Oblivion card, uh -huh. it has an icon where it says all allies uh, within range and a yellow sign. That means that I can only use that when I have that energy charged up. Quick. No, no, no. So that icon, normally yes. What that icon is, though, is is not uh, light. That icon is uh, a quick way to tell. You see how the, on your card to the left of there for Fell Remedy, how the elements for Earth and, and Darkness are a circle on the top half there, on the top half of Fell Remedy? That's a diamond. Or yeah, the, the diamond shape are conditions. So the circles are elements, diamonds are conditions. Uh, what that specific uh, icon there with that kind of sun in it is a bless. So approach oblivion is all allies within range two. You would heal them for four and bless them. Uh, and then gotcha. you would take two damage and curse yourself. Gotcha. Okay. Well, the bless is definitely worth it because it's a time, it's a free times two. It is. That's that's what I just pulled as a times two attack, which is huge for getting rid of these uh, elementals. The problem is that you, you give yourself a curse, which is a, a miss. It's a null. Uh, yeah. And then you, you bless everybody else within range, and then you curse yourself. Uh, it is a lost right. card, but honestly, at this at this stage, yeah, as long as we get them, it's a wrap. It is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But also, you get two experience for it, and whether you exhaust or not doesn't matter. You still get all the experience and loot and everything that you that you pulled during the thing. So if you're going to exhaust anyways, that's a good one to put out, you know, near the end when you know you're going to go down just because that's buffing everybody else. So not not a bad choice if you do want to play that one. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put an AoE out, um, and I don't have any big hits left. Ben, how about, how about, what do you have as far as being able to get that uh, that elemental dead? Do you think you can hit him hard enough to do, to do any damage to that two shield? Uh, I'm not going to... Uh be able to do any direct damage this round, but I can wound him, though. Does he have any kind of immunity to that? No. And wound, I, That's the only two cards I have left right now, before okay. I do short rest, but I think a wound on him, since he's close to full health, might, you know, knock one or two points off him on the next round or two. If you can get so. that wound on him before his turn, meaning you go as fast as possible and get the wound on him before he has a chance to go, then he'll it'll take one damage this turn. Because uh, okay. we won't survive a whole lot more rounds. Like this is going to wrap up before then. But basically, the sooner you can get that on him, the more likely it is to, you know, be effective. Both of my cars were middle of the road when it came to initiative. So okay. that's where I'll be. Okay. Um, he is not in a convenient arrangement. Fox, do you? Are you going to move? Or are you going to stay where you're at? 
could move and heal you if that would work, or I could move and attack. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him hard enough to really get much out of it, and I only have basic movement right now, and all my initiative sucks. Uh, should, do I have? I'm, maybe I should short rest. Yeah, I have seven cards. I'm gonna short rest. Maybe I can get something better out of this. I'm gonna do my best to heal and bless as many people as I can in my radius. Okay. Hey, Sako, are you or your raging corpse gonna move at all? Uh, both. Yes. Okay, great. Cause the uh, the corpse will move short, and the character will move long. Oh, duh. I forgot I have my boots. Yeah, I don't really need them right now, but I, I was thinking movement boots, not jump boots, but... Okay. Um, I'm probably going to need to do pincer movement again, just so that I can try to get a big enough hit to, on that demon to get his shield down. But I need to be able to get far enough up there. Um... I can, I can probably get there. Fox, if you are able to... Oh, shit, that puts me on the other side. Do you have, do you have any kind of jump, Fox? Oh, uh, so Sako, actually, you're, you said you're going to move your Raging Corpse. Are you going to move him into here? Is that what you're uh, going on, Sako? No. Okay. Uh, no, I was going to I was gonna move the corpse there. Um, Where? I was going to move uh, both characters more central to the map. Okay. All right. Fox, what do you have in mind? Mm, I can move wherever you need me to, but I was hoping to move. I don't know how much I can say without meting or whatever or what I'm supposed to say. You can so. say where you're going, where you're moving, where you're intending to move, and then like a general oh. idea of, of initiative. Okay, uh, uh, the corpse is going to move on the coin, and the uh, bone shaper is going to move right where your hand is, right next to the uh, cultist. Okay. Uh, let's see. That would uh, keep me within range for what I need to do for everybody. Ben, you're, um, you're wounding. Are you planning on, are you going to move? Are, can you get here? Yeah, I have a movement of three, so I'm going to need that space or where if Fox happens to move before me, where no, she's that's, standing. Really too. That's perfect. So if I was going to go there. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, no, that's, as long yeah. as you can get there, that'll that'll mean I can pincer move in him. And then Fox yep. being out of the way means hopefully she won't get hit because she's already at four. Um, and then that puts you and I both, you know, on either side of the demon so that he hopefully won't try to, you know, get away from us. Um, and then we can take the hits. Uh, how about you, Becky? What are your, what are your plans? Great. So I'm going to move here then where the raging corpse is. And then if... Ben's gonna be here. Is where are you gonna be, Jeremy? I'm planning on jumping back here. All right, Fox. Yeah. One, two, three. I think that's gonna be too far. Oops, I ignore that last turn. Yeah, it's only a range of two. Well, I can heal Ben for a little bit at least, and then I can muddle this guy. I'll be all right. Like even if I even if I take a couple of hits, I can afford to lose cards now. Now that now that we're near enough to the end, I have I've only lost two total. Yeah, I've only lost two cards. Like, I'm, I'm still good, so we don't need to worry about the, the health too much since we're this close to the end. I just have to be in the room because if there is another round, then I can make someone hit real hard. Okay. So, uh, so where did you need me to go? late. Uh, Ben's gonna gonna cover the spot uh, that I was okay. looking for, Fox. So you go ahead and focus if you want to focus on loot. Uh, does anybody need movement, extra movement this turn? No, no I, I should be fine. Just enough. Okay. Uh, ben, you said you're going around the middle of the round? No. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll need to go after you to be able to get that pincer in because I'll need you in that spot. All right. Um, it's a shame to waste that one, though. Uh, all right. I'm just going to do this, I guess. Oh, shit. That's a three pierce. I better save that, just in case. All right. I am ready. Everybody got the cards up? Okay, sorry, I was the last one. <laughs> All right, starting round. Right, right. Uh, I am going at initiative 69. Uh, okay, so after nice. the cultist. Yep, after cultist yeah. and before Becky. All right. Um, move plus zero to... All right, so he... Fuck. Uh, is there anybody there? Oh, yeah, Fox is already there. All right, well... This is an unfortunate attack against Fox with a... Oh, hang on. Nope. He... God damn it, this is going to screw things up. So... No, he can attack me. It's fine. Just let him attack me, please. 
The thing is, he's got a range number, which means he's going to have to move to avoid the um, uh, disadvantage uh, with a movement of four with flight. Uh, for him to get an attack against you would probably be over here, and that's really going to screw things up. I probably won't be able to hit him with pincer. Um, he could move here. I think it's what we're going to do. Because it doesn't really matter. Like, they don't take into account, you know, moving into another uh, enemy's range or anything like that. Um, all they do is just what is the what is the closest text they could move to to make the attack. So right here, he, his focus is already decided at the Hierophant because she's the closest one to him. So he's going to move to there. Uh, it'll be an you attack. What do you want? Push her first? Because there's a push yeah, to could, the end of that. You could attack the, the, uh, no, only the summon. There, that's though. fine. But, oh. well... Uh, the, the, he can't focus a summon. I'll explain why in just a second. Uh, if you look at the card here, guys, if you come over to the actual card, the, the little the little pop out, it's over on the right side, over by the card belt, where I'm dropping these arrows. Um, the little pop out thing it tries to translate what the card says, and it usually does a good job. But the ones that are more complicated, this like it's easier to just look at the card. Um, so it's a move plus zero, then attack minus one, target two, and if he can consume air, then he would also push two. You see that? Like, if you look at the card, it makes more sense, because it kind of looks the same way that, that, you know, your own ability cards do. I don't um, see the uh, Over here? Where I'm dropping oh, over here. Yep. Okay. I heard the ping, but I'm not seeing where the- I wasn't seeing where they were being dropped. Oh, gotcha. I was on the other side, where the other enemy stuff is. Yeah, there's a bunch of different enemies in this map, so... But if you look at the Wind Demon card there, that, you know, since it's the same iconography and everything is what are on your ability cards, it makes more sense. So basically, since the air is not up for him to consume it, it's just a move plus zero, attack minus one, target two. Um, but uh, he, there isn't a, a hex where he can focus both. But uh, Sako, to give you an idea of, of why he has to focus uh, the Hierophant, he will end up hitting the zombie as well, but it'll be disadvantage, um, is because he started here, the, fir the very first thing any enemy does is they have to decide who their focus is, who, who their, the person they're going to try to hit is. And that is always the closest person to them. And since he starts there, she's the closest person to him. That's his focus. Then he decides everything else on how to hit that. So the first step of that would be to move to here so that he's not at disadvantage for hitting her, uh, which is an attack minus one. His attack is normally three, so it'll be attack two, minus two, no damage done to Fox. And then it'll be an attack of two at the zombie with disadvantage, uh, which is a null. So no damage done there either with a disadvantage. So locked out there. I'm disappointed. But you wanted to get hit? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, what is your? It's your turn, Fox. So. Okay. Right. So it's I think it's. Now? Oh no, it is fine. It's what? Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought it was Sako's turn, but it's the one that's the most recent red, red highlight. I, I, you have those are manual clicks. I, I click those typically. Oh, okay. You guys can click them yourselves too. I usually just click okay. them too. Uh, did you want my heal, or did you want me to try and kill the cultists? Kill, for sure. Yeah. I appreciate the offer, but yeah, I mean, getting them dead is right. more important. Shot attack modifier, it was zero. Yay, so that's dead. Oof. Oh, and uh, is that yeah. your prayer card one? Is that the one you're doing? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one, damn it. Uh, whatever. What? But uh, it was supposed to be the same one as that. Is the supposed to take out because it get it's the same thing exact same thing right except it's like uh, gain uh, xp uh, oh, so I just oh hit the wrong yeah one. your initiative would have been wrong though it would have put you later in the round or it's oh right or, yeah uh, whatever it's fine we're at the end anyway just about three and i'll get a prayer card oh and there's two coins on that spot too so good good loot spot yeah i needed to loot all right that if your turn yeah, just let me put a card. Who's closer? I guess you are. Yeah, uh, I'm the only one within two. So. <clears throat> Sako could use the stamina, but he's he's too far away. Uh, all right, Sako, it is your turn, and your. All right. Shit, that's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna. Now that uh, now that homie's right there, the little wind demon. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to keep that raging corpse there and move my bone shaper, would that affect anyone negatively, or would that still work out with everybody? No, that'd be uh, fine. I'll just steal your spot. <laughs> you could, okay. if you... Well, so, ben, ben needs that hex, right, to get your wound off, G? Yeah, because I won't be able to reach him go around the other side now. So you could, every, Everyone will be okay yeah. in just a moment. 
Go ahead. What are you doing? I mean, if you can finish okay. him off, I'll go right ahead, man. Um, I won't be able to finish him, but I'll be able to act as a buffer and a blocker um, for at least one more turn and uh, keep him off of you and absorb. Well, we can't damage sponge. Can't, so, so Ben was gonna try to hit him, and he won't be able to hit him if that zombie's in that in that spot. Oh, okay. Then I'll move him. Well, so so what you could do is you could hit with the zombie and then move the zombie. Is, is what I'm saying. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna swing a uh, three attack uh, with a modifier. Hold on a second here. Modifier swing plus one. So right. that's a four attack. Sorry. Right. So two with a shield. So two damage. Two damage. One, two. I'm gonna move the zombie. Get his butt out of here if you don't mind. One, two. Cool. That's a wrap. Loot. Boom. All um, right. I don't think summons can loot coins. Okay. Yeah. I don't think. No, I don't think summons can. Sadly, uh, the, they don't. Yeah, in the game, the Steam thing, they don't do that. I mean, it would be nice if they could summon and could loot the coins for you, but. <laughs> Especially yeah, if you're doing a you know, skeleton swarm build for the zombie. Maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, like maybe next expansion? <laughs> yeah, maybe in Frosthaven. All right, and then what I'm going to use on my uh, main character is I will run Returned Servant with a movement of four. And I will make sure I'm two squares from everybody. So I will place myself here, which is one square from Hero, Banner, and two squares from Chain Guard. And then I will cast um, the Approach Oblivion, the top part, which heals four to all allies within two things. Oh, yeah. Yep. Alright, thank you. So go ahead and heal four for everybody in range. I will take two damage. One damage, two damage. And then uh, I have to add curse on myself, so I just grab a token, drop it on my head, right? Nope. Uh, on that one, you, that actually goes in your modifier deck, so you come to... Uh... Oh, sorry, you do it from the player interface. So on the right side, that little player interface box, you see where you've got your start round, and draw attack oh, modifier, yeah. add curse is the one you want. Player interface up, start round, end round, add curse. There it goes, okay. boom. All right. Uh, and then and as we're getting blesses also for, for everybody except for Becky? Uh, yes, uh, all allies heal for four and bless. Oh, God damn it! I just blessed the monster deck by myself. <laughs> Because I'm playing black, and I clicked the add bless, and it added to the monster deck. Oh, can we? How do we remove? Uh, I'm gonna have to search and pull it out, so that's fine. I'll find it. Okay. They don't have any blesses naturally, so pretty easy to so find. So I will discard the return servant, and then I have to lost the approach oblivion now. Who we'll card that? Yep, that's a good one for sure. I was just waiting for an opportunity for everyone to be bunched up like that, yeah, or as many people as possible. Good, good play for sure. All right, monster curses. There we go. All right. Um. Oh, Fox, you still have your cards up here. If you want to grab those. Uh. All right. That if you, if your turn, Sako. Um. E yes. Um. If I play an invisibility card now, does that hold for next round, or that ends this round? Uh, hang on, which... Uh, my uh, Cloak of Invisibility. During your turn, gain invisible. Uh, it would last until the start, I think, of your next turn. Oh, so it, no, it basically, Yeah, it might be the end, but I don't think so. Uh, no, because you... It would be the end of your... Oh, shit. Here's the thing. You're, you're supposed to be able to play it on your turn. I'm pretty, it's got to have to be the start of your next turn. I don't think it would make any sense. Because that would last one full round, you know, of, of everybody playing through. Okay. I'll hold that. Okay. All right. That brings us to UG. Oh, and you just looted that coin, too. All right. We'll grab the cards. And then I am... The cultist is dead, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I think... Yep. Who killed the cultist? Me. Fox. Yeah. Oh shit, that's right. That's for the prayer card. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to start with the bottom of agonizing lamp to move three. I got me. All right. And then the top of spiked knuckles, which is an attack of two that won't go through unless I draw a good modifier, but uh, a wound on him too. 
All right. If he would shackled, it would be an attacker three, but he wasn't shackled. The one was. So. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hang so on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Uh, shit! You can't swing them through obstructions. Son of a do, bitch. Do the oh, traps work on him three. since they're floating? No. Uh, that trap is already triggered anyways. I don't ah. think you can swing them through obstacles. Let me double check here real quick, because because right now, my, I'm not going to be able to get off my big attack. So, well, you know what? The move through the, the the question here is that the move you had a swing three on the bottom of that card as well, so you potentially could have swung him into this beneficial, I will. into this hex. The problem is I don't think you can swing it through that pillar. Okay. Um, because if you could swing him there, I could still get my big hit on him this turn if your attack doesn't kill him. Uh, but I don't think you can. Let me let me look at swing real quick. Okay. Uh, I, I always have to look at this one. Swing is the one that uh, uh, you know requires the most lookups for me. All right, swing. Uh, do -do. Oh, that's all fine. Can be swinged, which is terrible English, uh, through their allies, but not through enemies, obstacles, objectives, or walls. Yeah, so it won't work. Okay, yeah. it's worth right. a shot. So we'll just have I'll have a basic attack, but you, hopefully you can kill him with your with your attack two here anyway. Uh. No, my modifier was a zero, uh, minus two, so oh. there's no actual damage. <laughs> Damn it. So it's like double, no way. All right, so yeah, uh, but he does get the wound though, so all right, go ahead and drop that on him if he survives till the next round. I mean, that is, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, I'm still gonna have to move, so I can't switch that up. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't move enough for that to matter. Be able to pull off pins or moons, so it's gonna have to be basic attack. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys remember your um, your battle goals? Everybody, keep an eye on those to see if you can try to finish them. Because this, hopefully, this this may be the last round. Maybe. Um, all right. So it's me, and then it's Becky. Um, but I can't do my pincer attack because of the arrangement is wrong. So I'm gonna do the bottom of set for the charge to move four. Come on, get off there. Um, to get behind him. One, two, three. I can get to there. But you see how pins are moving? If you guys look at that hex arrangement there, my, my original plan would have would have been fine, but because he moved, it screwed it up. Because now it's not that... You see how that, that layout has to be precise. Ben is on the other side of him, but it isn't a direct line. And therefore, I can't you do You would have to movement. be over more, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But where he he was standing, he was before he moved. He was standing here, and you and I were going to be lined up perfectly. Okay. We were going to be like this, and then I could have done it. But because he moved, it screwed it all up, uh, which means that I'm going to do a basic attack instead. Uh, so it is just going to be an attack two. Uh, maybe I'll pull that that bless from from uh, Fox. Oh God damn it! I can't use that thing. Uh, hang on, I didn't put the bless in my deck that I meant that I needed to. Uh, let me do that and then shuffle it real quick. But it is a... Oh, it's a rollover card. Uh, so it's a shield one. Rolling. And a minus one. Alright, so no luck there. Uh, but I do get shield one, and it is attack two, minus one. Yeah, no damage. Alright, Fox. Uh, sorry, Becky, your turn. Okay. Well, I think you're still out of range. Maybe. Hang on. Alright. So I'm going to move. One, two, three. So, I can muddle him. He is muddled. Alright. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, never mind. I was doing basic attack anyways. I, I did a muddle on the last guy, but he died on the same attack, so it didn't matter. There we go. And then... Are you within... No, you're not within two. Is anyone within... Does this guy need healing? Uh, Sokka has your zombie. The raging corpse? Well, my zombie's gonna be very well. All right. Well, then that's it. That's my turn. <laughs> Nobody right. needs healing. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this will be the last round here. We just need a big enough attack on him to get through a two shield and do two damage. Uh, potentially one, because he'll he'll wound. He's wounded anyway, so he will bleed. Um, let's look at what we've got here. Oh, thanks, Fox. I saw the prayer. Um, I can try to play that just to get your your. Oh, hang on. Uh, well, I've got... 
I've got the right arrangement where I can hit him. It won't be a huge attack, but it could disarm, and then hopefully enough to uh, to get through his shield. And if I play the bottom... Well, I don't really need the heal, but I could play that just to give you an extra modifier. Ben, do you think you're going to be able to hit him hard enough to, to get a point or two into him? Oh, yeah, I should be able to get one or two off of him. Now that I'll have some new guards, I'll have to do a short rest. I'm doing that right now. Okay. You're doing a short rest, too. Okay. You're not going to move, though, right? You're going to stay where you are? Uh, no, I don't think I'll need to move unless it would help anybody. Uh, no negative conditions. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go about the middle of the round, um, and I will be hopefully getting a little damage into that guy. Uh, Fox, I'm going to play your Bless as well, just so that you can get an extra uh, mark on your... On your uh, Milestone. Nice. I'll have played two and Becky has played oh, one, so it'll be three I just remember. Your milestone. So I'm sorry. Ooh, nice. Experience uh, for that spell I did, right? Uh yeah, any any spells that you played that, that gave you experience, yeah, you definitely need to, to put them on there. Um So I get two then for the approach to Oblivion. Yep. Yep, so come up All here right. and you're a player one, so you click that one right there. there it is. One, two. Alright. Thank you. Yep. question on card placements here so um, I have two cards in my hand can I play these two cards and then do my short rest yeah so I'll have zero cards in my hand but I can short rest because they're in my discarded correct correct yeah so so you Perfect. you go exhausted when you cannot play two cards that's when uh, the exhaustion that... happens so if you you know if you only had one card left and and therefore you could not play two cards that's when the exhaustion would happen Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. So you have at least this round and one more. No. This. Yeah, this round and one more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when's everybody going? And what are they planning? I'm going in the middle, and I'm not going to move. I'm just going to try to hit him. Okay. I will go very early. I will be uh, running and healing mostly uh, for the main character, and then just running interference with whatever I can with the corpse. Okay, so I'm gonna go about midish and try and kill. And try what? And try to kill. Okay. Yeah, any damage we can put on him this turn is is what we are looking for because we can hopefully kill him. Everybody's in decent health, even if we lose to hard or if if any of that took hits, we can be fine. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be after you. Okay. I'll be going fairly early on, and I'll be doing some damage. I should be able to knock him down. Okay. Remember Especially that with the, if his wound comes up first, I should be able to definitely. Okay, knock him cool. Down. Yeah. Even without him, I might be able to honestly. Yeah. So I got a pretty good card for this. Okay. I think and we'll be. Uh, I think early on. I think we'll be fine getting him killed this turn. The, the trouble is, he's probably going to be going pretty fast because the, the wind demons typically do, uh, and he has fly, so he's not stuck between us. G. Although any regular mob ah, would not yeah, be able yeah. to move, but because he has fly, he's just going to fly right through us. Um, yeah. If it, you know, if if his card tells him to, so. As much as it looks like we've got him cornered, we, we kind of don't. All right, everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Ben, you put your cards in? Yeah, I forgot to actually officially put them in. And there we go. All right, starting round. All right, I'm going initiative 50, so I am at the very end, uh, which hopefully he'll be dead before then because he's going pretty late, actually. Eats. Everybody's going Loser. early, so. All right, this'll do. Socko, you're up first. Cool. First thing I'm going to do is, well, i got to move my stupid uh, zombie. Uh, he can't really do much, so I'm just going to have him hanging out there uh, doing nothing because okay. he can't attack. He's all blocked in. Yep. Uh, but I will immediately uh, throw on my Cloak of Invisibility. Okay. So I hit this and hit R, I think, to rotate or something. Uh, R would shuffle, but you can you uh, pick it up and then use your mouse wheel and it'll rotate. Oh. There you go. And it's rotated 90 degrees. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'm now invisible. Okay. Uh, how do I make that? Uh, you grab this little token right here. Black. Black one. Gotcha. Yep. And then drop it over your head. Gotcha. Coming up. If you do it when and... you see the token highlight, that's when that's when you want. There you go. And it'll pop up above the head like that. Beautiful. All right. So I'm invisible. He can't see me. Uh, first things first. I will do my best and I will heal Banner Spear. Okay. Uh, one ally three squares away, you get plus two, um, plus two health. All right. Thank you. And then I'll use the bottom portion of my card to run away. 
Okay. Two spaces. One, two. There you go. So I can steal this coin next turn. Yep. You get it at the end um, of your turn, so you'll have it here in a second. And then uh, I think that is... Double check real quick. You can move your yes. summon as well if you wanted to, but yeah. No, I'm going to keep the summon. Uh, if uh, you did... So... Just because your summon can't loot that coin, if you did move him off of it and somebody else was able to move on to oh, that's right. Uh, then yeah. they could potentially loot that just so that the so the coin isn't you know wasted essentially. Don't be a jerk. Gotcha. All right, I will move him one square then. Okay. Uh, right here. Hopefully, <clears throat> yeah, the spirit decides to move through me and I take focus. Uh, he might, yeah, because well, he's going at the end, so we're hoping that he's dead before then. Uh, Works for me. Yeah. So it depends on on what these attacks look like. Raging Corpse will be our damage sponge. Cool. So I am good to go. All right. That brings us to you, G. Oh, I'll also do a short rest right now. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be starting as with the top of Merciless Beatdown, which is an attack of three, but it's a add two attack for each enemy adjacent to the target and center over there. That would be an attack of five. Uh, no. Correct. No. Or is that another enemy? Unfortunately, that's me. referring to enemy to you, yes, not an enemy Ooh, of the Okay, target. I thought it meant enemy. Yeah. Well, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I hopefully at least do one. And you do have some cards that are. Is. Yeah, you do have cards that do that too, but it'll say that uh, when an ally is. Basically, that card is from your perspective. So if it's that ally on there, then yeah, it would be the uh, attack five. Okay. But it's go. an attack five anyway, so uh, right. the, the mission is done. Good job, G. It was a three, right? Yeah. So attack yeah. five total. Cool. All right. Then everybody, let's uh, you know use your cards then to try to intelligently hoover up all the coins you can. I already looted four on one of the earlier rounds. So uh, actually, I could uh, I just give that one over there, maybe. Click on the coin. It's on top of my head now, well, right? Uh, hang on. Uh, so so what you do? Hang on, do well. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that one there for you. Uh, what you do if you're standing on it, Sako, is just on the initiative tracker in the top left, click your name off, and then back on again, and it'll pick it up for you. You do that at the end of your turn, so there oh, you go. Oh, shit. It, it picked okay. it for you. Cool. Thank you. Okay, it's Michael. Yep. Uh, ben, did you... That was, Hang on, uh, before you do, actually. Uh, ben, you did the attack, and that killed him. You still had your bottom action of your other card. If you wanted to use that as a basic action move, you could hop on that square where that coin is just so that you loot it. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, yep. Because that, so that, you, you still had it. It was still, it's not, you know, a free thing. Yeah, like, might as well use it. That. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then that is it for my turn. Then I get an experience, or two experience from that first card. Cool. It's a discard, but, or a loss, but still it's over now. So. Yep. I just, click okay. the, I just click the thing to loot the coin over to your sheet for you, too. Yep. All right, well, I moved. There's nothing. Okay. <laughs> that was it? Just run over and grab some loot? Well, yeah, because what I was going to do is I was going to, like, attack through Rage 3 and hopefully give a prayer and get, a, like, an XP, but you guys killed it first. Yeah. All right, uh, then, Becky, nice. if you got to move, too, you can go grab that coin. Yep, I'll just basic action, because <laughs> I'm not going to be healing anybody or hitting anything real hard. So. Yeah, if you have cards that you can get experience from, it would still be, you know, even uh, if you don't need it, you know, if you, if, like, because this is it, like, the end of this round is the end of the mission, like, we don't get to continue playing. Uh, so if you had anything that you could get experience from, you want to do that, or loot, any, any, anything that would be uh, an effective use for the last, you know, bit of your cards here. Uh, I still get experience from my active card, so... Cool. Uh, and I'll be playing, even if even though it's not needed, I'll be playing that prayer anyway. Um, and I would have a move two, which isn't enough to grab any coins or anything. Uh, but I'll pray the play the play the prayer so that Fox gets another tick on her milestone card, uh, and that is it for me. And obviously the wind demon is dead. So we are done. We finished the round. I'm gonna have to manually do all my shit. So let me get my things out of the way before I delete the map. Um, There's the uh, prayer card that I used, Fox. Where do we uh, see the card that we have our little secret thing that we have to do? Uh, you, if you mean the milestone thing, that's only yeah. for uh, Crimson Scales classes, which oh. is uh, Ben and Fox are the only two that are playing Crimson Scales classes. Uh, Fox, you got three for your milestone card. Ben. Yeah, I changed it to seven. Okay. Uh, ben, you killed you killed that. Oh shit! Did you you killed that demon, didn't you? That you shackled. No, no I, you did. I got the bless on that. That's right. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you actually finished them off. So I, I put my battle gold up here, and I'm very freaking sad because it never happened. What was it? Mine either. Where? where oh, up here. How many discard cards <laughs> do you have? <laughs> That's why. Okay, I was curious. I took what your... <laughs> four. I took four freaking damage. I'm like, okay, I just need one freaking damage to like get rid of a card. But no, I never got one or two damage. Yeah. I kept getting like, I got hit once at five damage. <laughs> I it remember. Made me sad. Okay. I remember you saying that uh, you know something about like wanting to get hit or whatever. Uh, I have two lost cards, G. Two lost but those cards. are the okay, cards dark. that uh, they get, but uh, I don't get those, right? No, right now we're talking about battle goals, Sako. Yeah, yeah whichever. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Where's where's the battle battle oh, goals? Right here. Yours is multitasker. I can see it right oh, here. Oh my bad. Yeah, sorry. You can go ahead and pull them out now if you guys want, just so you can you know assume or figure out if you guys have, have uh, gotten it. I had uh, nice. take only short rests during the scenario, meaning no long rests, and I did do that successfully, so I do get my check mark. Uh, I don't get, delete uh, the two cards. Check marks. Okay. Uh, once you once you've figured out your you know if you've got it or not, open over the same round. Yeah, you did that right at the start. Uh, just set them up here. I'll put them in the stack so that they're not messed up. Uh, ben, this was yours, right? Uh, you, reserved. Yeah, you beat me because uh, I had the second fewest lost cards, but you had to add four, so oh, you shit. actually you beat me on that one barely. Yeah, I, I just I, mine was to never take a long rest, so okay, I, nice. I, I just I you know I was not going to burn through very very many cards to do that. Uh, yeah. So kind of not mutually exclusive, but not a not a great pair. Is that? Player Not Blaster, bad. Monster Bless. All right, so that is that goes there. Um, so no checks for Ben. Uh, what was yours, Becky? I do not. Mine was get an affliction and give an affliction to a monster. Oh. All right. <laughs> but uh, no one hit me, so. <laughs> that's the same problem Fox had, basically. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm put these all back in and I'll shuffle them. All right, so we got to figure out what uh, we're going to do a city event, and then we have to figure out what the next mission is. Uh, or what we want to go do next. Uh, we did successfully finish we, that one. What do we do with the two check marks? Uh, those go towards your your next perk. Uh, oh yeah, Fox did not get that one, unfortunately. Well, I mean, do we do perk oh, stuff now? Or? Well, if you got a perk, yes. So come down here. Uh, you These little boxes up here at the top, take off two of them in the top left right there. Uh, should I take one more off because I already have one? Where did you get the first one? Did you finish uh, the perk from? Yeah, no, 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 the no, first no. one. No, not that. The so you did it right. Leave those two just like that. Those check marks are okay. Uh, you get perks when you level up, and you also get them for every three check marks you get. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. So right so now you have two, and the next check mark you. Two. No, 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 no. It's not two more perks. You get one perk oh. for every three check marks. Gotcha. You have two check marks, so the next check mark you get, you'll get another perk for it. My bad, sir. You're fine. I'm at two now as well, so next check mark for me will get me another perk too. All right, uh, where did I put my modifiers? There we go, cool. All right, so let me set that up. I have to be careful with with moving mine because if I delete the map before everything's ready, then I'll end up deleting my things, which I don't have the kind of setup you guys do. Fox, I'm putting your prayer cards back down here. Okay. Um, how do I uh, do what? Get rid of those other ones again. Get rid of what? Oh, the minus ones in your deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, I'll do it for you. Uh, what you would do, I just, I just put your modifiers together, and then if you right click, I'm gonna show you how to do it too. But if you just right click on that and hit search, it'll pop up the box on the right, and then you can right, right. minus one. And then what you're looking for are the ones that have the asterisk in the bottom left. So you want to take those out. I think you'll have three. Yeah. Uh, there's one. Yeah, any of them that have a number is wrong. You just want the ones that have the asterisks. So there's the second one. Um, they need them with the numbers, the ones you want to leave. There we go. Cool. I got them. Okay. All right. I don't know where those are supposed to go. I'm going to set them off to the side for now because I don't want to delete them in case, you know, in case they're needed. For... Oh, you know what? I do know where they're supposed to go. Never mind. They go right here. Cool. Straighten these cards out here. All right. Do I have everything off of the board? And then uh, doesn't matter where I put my cards here. I'll just stack them up and throw them somewhere. What do you? Which cards? What do you mean? Uh, just to get the, get my board back to how it's supposed to look. Just move these three cards back to uh, put those back in your hand. Assuming that you want to. Yeah. All that. All yeah. Everything is back in your hand. Yeah. 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yeah. And then you're Listen, gonna. I don't want to change. Yep. And then you're gonna group them, and then right-click it and spread. God damn it! Let's hit a button. I don't know how to hit. All right. I think I got everything off of there. I should be able to clear this map now without losing anything. Sako, I put your um, your undeads back in your on your character mat there. Um, you can move them off to the side if you want. I just drop them there to get them off the board so they don't get deleted. And. Right, let me so end the mission. Here. You can leave here. that. It, it'll it'll pop back here in just a second. Uh, those are the only, like the regular minis are the only things that'll stay. Um, they, they'll you know reset those correctly. Any of the undeads and summons and things like that, those get broken. All right. Uh, scenario one. This will apply all the loot that is on your sheets and your experience. Uh, we already did battle goals. Scenario can. Oh yeah, I got to read that at the end here too. Uh, and I will go ahead and delete the map. Delete monsters. All right. Uh, all right. So for the scenario end here, uh, it is clear that you have disrupted some sort of ritual here. These elemental demons belong to an entirely different plane of existence, but these cultists have somehow managed to pull them through to this one. On the altar in the back of the room, there is a wealth of scribblings on these rituals. Not all the writings are intelligible, but you get the sense that this crypt is a place of power once used by an ancient civilization. The ancients tap the power to these elements to enhance their own lives, and while their exact fate is beyond your knowledge, it clearly didn't end well. Among the crypts you also find uh, on a couple of other places of power, wait, find notes on a couple of other places in the, uh, of power in the area. One appears to see heavy use with the cult, and others, uh, the other is marked, by, marked as being overrun by vicious undead. It looks as though you have opportunities to either disrupt more of their work, which is mission number five, or get in their good graces by helping to clear out a threat, mission number six. So uh, both of the missions that this unlocks are crypt missions. Um, I think one of your guys' personal goals is to do crypt missions, right? Yep. Uh, Sako, it's yours. Okay. Uh, Sako, so we've just done one crypt mission, so I'm going to grab a uh, an objective. A token on it or something. Yeah, exactly, just to note that we've done one. Uh, and I'll drop it right there for you. It's so, so now it's sitting there on your card. The next crypt mission we do, you'll change that one to a two, and then two to a three, and so on, and that will get your, um, your class unlocked. Um, uh, I no change to my personal quest. Uh, Fox yours is for enchantments or enhancements. Uh, side scenarios we haven't done that yet. I think we wanted to do a side scenario for for Becky, or do we want to go further in story? What do you guys want to do as far as you know next mission? I have no preference. What do you guys want? Yeah, I'm just happy to help anybody else out. If it just happens to be a crypt bonus, but I mean, uh, do. Do we have the mission unlocked for the enhancements, or not yet? Not yet, no. That one we have to do mm -hmm. the Frozen Hollow, I think it's called. Yeah. Alright, so Crypt of the Damned is now done, and we need to... Uh, that was 5 and 6, right? Yeah, so 5 is up here. Uh, Ruinous Crypt, and 6 is... Uh, look on the map for 6, tell me if you guys find it. It said it on the, on the thing, but I closed it already. I'm just looking for a small white circle that has a six in it. Right next to Still River, just uh, cool. south of Still River. Yep, thanks. All right. All right, so those are unlocked now. Uh, all right, so our options are then... Oh, sorry, we need to do a city event. So we go back to the city, by the way, uh, and we can do shopping and everything else if you guys need to. Uh, we'll jump, double check the gold worked out and everything. Uh, city event. Oops, did not mean to flip those. All right, shuffle. All right, so here's our event, guys. As daylight fades, you find yourselves wandering through a half-crowded market street, browsing wares. Hey, over here. You turn in the direction of the voice to see a filthy vermling gesturing in a dark alley. Yeah, you grim-looking chaps. I have something you might be interested in. The vermling holds out a piece of metal covered in sludge. Found this in the sewer. Writing on it, I don't understand, but I know it's valuable. You can have it for 10 gold. So our options are... Uh, a, pay for the thing, you never know, so we would 10 gold from the group, or B, refuse to pay, never trust a firmling. Uh, can we pay for it, and then just, like, um, is there a way to mark that we've already paid for this thing? Yeah, it'll, if it's an item, it w we'll get the item or whatever. This card is going to be ripped up, but we, basically, what it'll be 10 total gold from the group, not each person. Yeah, so, two piece. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Ben and Sako, buy it. That's fine. With me. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Go ahead. All right, then we will do option A. It is uh, pay 10 collective gold. 
You hand over the gold and take the piece of take hold of the piece of garbage. Amidst troubling brown smears, you see a lot of meaningless scratches, likely made by rats and bugs. Oh well, some of the long shot doesn't pay off. Sometimes the long shot doesn't pay off. Uh, no effect. <laughs> so we just lose two gold each till it happens. <laughs> Damn. Yep. How do I remove two from my? Uh, come thing. down to your character sheet down here. Oh, and I see we it. have nine gold. Click a little minus twice. Damn it. I'm down to 32. Hang on, did it? Uh, bonus I think it. Four gold, five to nine. Yeah, it did. You just didn't have a lot of loot. What, what Fox? I had more before we clicked it. Did it automatically take it off? Huh? No, it doesn't automatically take it off. Uh -huh. You bought potion, remember? Right. Okay. Is that it? Oh, the other thing, you looted that ring of skulls too, by the way, Fox. So you have that too. That's on your character now. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I have the ring of skulls. But no, when I checked, when like before you pulled the card, when I checked, I had 88, and then it said 85. So I was just wondering what the heck. Um, it doesn't have any way for it. To, it wasn't a scripted thing. It shouldn't have. Did somebody else click yours on accident? Becky, did you accidentally click on on hers? Maybe oh. when you did minus. No, because I was at 56, now I'm at 54, but I just disconnected. Oh, okay. Oh. Either way. I don't know, Fox. Uh, I was at 9 and dropped to 7. I gotta start a Gloomhaven as an fan or something, get that gold back up. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a, a very interesting looking alt girl on the uh, uh, on the boat shaper icon, so you could probably get some some funds that way. Not, not, not quite my type, but I'm sure there's a Necro feet picks or something. Yep. All right, my discard pile. Put all these back together. And draw those. There we go. Level two. Almost level three now. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I have to do my experience manually. Fuck. Uh, oh, shit. And my gold didn't get done manually or automatically either because I don't have... I don't have a thing. So I have four coins... Uh, gold conversion is two, so that's eight. So yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm at forty. Oh, if it added gold. It did. It did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you scroll up in the chat, you'll see that you were at four gold, and you went from uh, five to nine. Is what it says. So. Oh, I see it. Okay. Good. Uh, you spent all yours for your your items that you have there, which are I mean that's that's what it's for. Those are good items, anyways, especially for your class. So. Uh, all right, I will have to fix all of those after. I'll put you in the notes, um, and I've got to put coins away. Uh, there. Cool. Did I do that right? No. I can just, just delete it. I think that's infinite. Yeah, it's infinite. Cool. All right, so uh, our reset is done. Uh, that was our city event. Uh, all right, so our next mission then, guys. We have choices then. We can do, uh, if we're going to do a Becky side mission, it needs to be, what was the number? Becky, is it like 60 or something? Uh, hang on. Greater than 51. Maybe? Yeah. All right, so look at the map over here, guys. Now, there's a couple things to, to keep in mind here on, on what our options are. Any of the ones that have a sticker on them that don't already have an X. So if you look at like one where it says Black Barrow, right next to the corpse wood where my hand is. If it has that black X over it, like a Sharpie, that means we've already done that mission. What you're looking at is any of the ones that have a sticker on them but don't have a black X, those are the missions we can choose to do right now. Well, we could uh, do Burning Mountain. We could, so so that's one there. That would be above... So basically, any of them that are above 51 will count towards Becky's personal mission. Uh, we still have to get further in the story to be able to get to Fox's personal mission, um, which unlocks enchantments and stuff like that. So, so there's, you know... Or there's here. Underwater Lagoon. Yeah, we have both of those, um, and then... It looks like it, this looks like that's it, because the other ones are all below 50. Yeah, those are both side missions that we got from doing road encounters, with the random mm -hmm. ones. Uh, one of them might have been from a treasure chest, I don't remember. Uh, three, this mission here in the woods, that's a pain in the ass mission to do. I, I would not suggest that right now, because it's going to take a while. Um, it's, um, that's what that we're going to do. No, that would be, we have to kill 25 too. Enochs, I think, for that one. Oh, right, because yeah. it's times two, so it's, yeah. like, it's two times, and we're five, yeah, five, okay, that yeah. would be so it. so 25 Enox, would, that's going to be a slog. Uh, we're gonna I'm have used to, to doing, what, point. three characters, so it's <laughs> a bit easier, three yeah. or two. 
yeah, it's we're gonna have to do it eventually, and we can like we can set up a very effective, you know, meat grinder where they just come through and we can burn through them. Uh, but we're gonna have to open all. There's like five or six doors in there. We're gonna have to no. open all those to be able to burn through. Uh, there's the spawner that doesn't uh, stop the until you open stops the main the, door. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna have to open yeah. all four of the, the side doors uh, to kill all of them, and then try to keep triggering the spawner. The problem is the spawner's only one per round, and we'll run out of cards before that would get us to 25. You know what I mean? Right, okay. Yeah, yeah so that, that complicates a lot. Yep, so that's going to be trouble. In fact, we'll probably have to play that with a count of four, as if we were only using four players, just because it, would, like, it wouldn't like it would be necessary. I don't know if it'll be possible uh, to, to go for 25. But anyway, uh, so that one I wouldn't worry about right now. But any of the others, we have two crypt ones that we can do that would move Sako's personal quest. Uh, we have two missions we could do that would move Becky's personal quest, uh, or we can move the story quest. So everybody make your votes. Up to you guys. I kind of want to try the Burning Mountain. I haven't seen that one yet, and that would be Becky's personal quest. Okay, uh, I wouldn't mind doing that one. Um, I haven't seen that mission, so I don't know what it is. I have. Um, I'm trying to not spoiler it yet. It's it's a choice. Um, once we get in there, it's a choice. Okay. Well, you can. If so... we're gonna do that one, you can you can give us an idea when we get in there. Um, any anybody against doing that one? Anybody have a, 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 a vote elsewhere? As long as it's not underwater lagoon, I'm good with it. Just don't want to do the underwater lagoon. That's that's a pain in the ass. You've done oh, it before. Oh, you did that mission. It's it's bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that decides it for us then. Becky right. and Fox, you guys okay with doing the mountain? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with doing the mountain. Um, I want to get more gold before we unlock the enhancement, so I can just buy them all at the same time. Okay. Uh, so, you, know. you do realize that that means your hierophant will go bye bye. Yes, I do realize that, and I'll have to choose another character, yeah, which I right. have a few in mind. Thank you very sure, much. No problem. Just say it. You know, the, the more the more time investment you put into that, you, you know, to, to have it just axed all at once is a painful realization the first time you do it. Um, okay, I, I mean, like I've already uh, retired a few of them because it brings the prosperity up, and I already yeah. have plans to re to try and get monks and achievements, steam achievements, so I can retire like four more of them, so yeah. I can get more prosperity. So yes, I do realize this. Yeah, it. it it really it's weird because it feels bad at first until you realize that that's very important it, oh no 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 it didn't helpful. feel bad at all i'm just like looking for ways trying to like make a new character with like the easiest way of getting bread prosperity up the whole like well, sure. planning thing is there yeah i mean i mean the first time you play gloomhaven the first time you go to retire a character it feels like it sucks because you know you invest a lot of time in, in building out the character and then kind of it feels like you're losing that uh but it's it's very important and, it, and it, it makes more sense the further you get into the game so there's kind of that, that middle area where it doesn't feel great but all right so we're gonna go do the mountain uh road event on the way there uh walking through a stretch of lowlands you see a man in armor sitting against a large boulder as you get close you see that he's bleeding from his side ah uh, what luck he says i got separated from my detail and had an unfortunate run-in with a bear i'm afraid i no longer have the strength to stand he looks at you imploringly you wouldn't happen to have a potion or something that you'd be willing to give me i just need a little extra energy to make it back to gloomhaven so we have option A, help out the guard, or option B, claim you have no aid to give, and then move on. I don't have a healing potion, so if anybody else does... Always something about bears. I don't either. So it's not actually a healing potion. I'll tell you, basically what this one is, is one of us, whoever chooses to do... Well, basically, we, we all get the benefit, but one of us will lose one of our small items. Uh, Fox, that could be your ring or your potion, uh, meaning you wouldn't be able to use it at the start of the next turn. Uh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I could so. just, uh, yeah, that's, okay. that works. Uh, are you okay with consuming your ring then, if we do, or your ring or your potion, rather? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm fine with it. All right. And you actually, this, the, your potion is probably, of all of us, the one that you, you don't necessarily, uh, you don't have to rely on it as much. All right, so we're going to help then. Uh, you happily mm -hmm. oblige with the crest, letting the man partake of some of your supplies. He slowly stands up, thanks you, and then heads towards Gloomhaven as you head in the opposite direction. Consume one collective item, so just your ring. Um, no, yeah. no benefit, but that one might have a you know follow up, like if we meet the guard again in the city later on or something like that. I don't remember. Um, yeah, some of them they'll give you a bless. Other times, like you help them and then they'll curse you for it. <laughs> it's like. Ouch. There's there's an Enox one that I got caught by that. There was like a Enox shaman that I helped and, and fucker cursed me. Um, all right, so let me spread these again and let's start that mission. Um, there we are. Burning up. Cool. Did I spot it? No. There we 
we go. Give that a second to load. Oh, great. Elementals and golems and shit. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Elementals right in the starting room. All right, well, those elementals that we didn't, that we skipped in the last mission, now you get to see why they suck so bad. Okay, um, aim for the elite. There's the elite. Yeah, there's one on the left right there. Oh. Which one's the elite? Left. This one? The yellow. This yeah, one? Right here. The yellow? Okay, so kill the elite, and then we're gonna want to go up to this door. Um, how do you... How do you what? Yeah, alt. Uh, not shift alt, just alt. It's tap. Oh, sorry, tap. Yes, tap. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, so we want to go up here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill one of the elites, and then we want to move up. Like run, pat, just kill the elite and run, or kill the other guys too and run? Uh, we only need to kill one elite to open the door, so preferably we want to kill one elite and then, like, make it into- open the door and then make it into a meat grinder because there's a couple of the rooms, and, uh, do we read the- I Yeah, guess, the information I, 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 I was just in? looking at it, yeah. Here, let me, let okay. me read it. Okay, so, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, this, this is a interesting one. Uh, this will be a fun one to kind of cut halfway off to and, and, and have to do the rest of it next week because we'll have forgotten some of this, I'm sure. But All right, so uh, introduction to the mission. It says, following the Enoch's trail, you find the remains of their village burned and collapsed into a crevasse. Uh, this mission, by the way, this one was prompted from a road event that we did where we found, uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, it was, I think it was the first time we played. Um, we did a road event where there was a like a long string of refugees uh, of Enochs coming down from the mountain. The mountain was burning. This is the mountain. We, we've gone past them up to the mountain. So anyways, uh, following the Enochs trail, find the remains of the village burning to collapse into a crevasse. A dark cloud hangs over the mountain directly behind it. You follow an old stone road, seemingly untouched, as it winds its way up through the uh, scorched ter terrain and ends at a cliff several hundred meters high. You find a pair of great stone doors, warm to the touch and intricately carved to the side of the mountain. Once inside the doors, you see pools of liquid flame illuminating the room beyond in an eerie red glow. Uh, charred corpses of Savas, which are like elemental people, um, are scattered everywhere. The earth shakes violently, and a number of the demons turn their gaze towards you. Um, what the rules are for this one, and if you guys come down here and look at the map, down here where I'm dropping arrows, um, we're going to have to figure out a fifth starting spot. Uh, ben, you or I will just stand in the front, I think, in, in one of the, wherever we want to start. All right, so uh, this is the map area. We're starting, obviously, down here. It says, all the doors are locked, and one will open automatically whenever one elite monster is killed in the order of A, B, C, D, E, E, uh, and finally F. When door C opens, we have to move to the next section. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, so wait. the goal is to kill both elites down below, because the, the other one we just... Yeah, the other one was a bit different, but anyway... Um, so, yeah, we want to kill both the elites down there, and then the elite in r the room on top of A, and then we want to loot that chest, and then GTFO back to the starting point. Where's Oh, the chest up at C, and the room C? The uh, chest up at room C, we want to grab that, and then GTFO, we don't have to kill everything, we just need to loot that chest, and then GTFO back to the starting point. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, we could abandon an artifact, but it's better to grab both artifacts, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, wait. Holding the item may re wait. Holding the items from it may end their turn at nine. Oh, gee. And remove one of the items. From okay, that's the that's the sacrifice thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, then our goal would have to because. We need door C to open, which won't happen until the third elite we kill. So we kill the two in the main yeah, room, and then we kill the one in the second room. one in C, yeah, that's right, okay. Um, but that means running through earth elementals on the left. Fire elementals would be easier to run past. Earth elementals do constant stuns and, and uh, uh, immobilize. Okay, well, we could, well, that would mean we'd have to kill an extra one, which would be an extra future. Where? What do you mean? Oh, uh, if we oh, want to get because, open because, DRD yeah, open, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'd have to kill an extra one. Yeah, this is this D looks just like an A. I don't know why they used such a dumb font like that. 
That's uh, why I'm saying if yeah. we go up to the left, loot and GTFO. So yeah. if anybody has a loot card to loot everything around them, you could loot, like, you could stand near it and loot stuff. Yeah. And then just literally GTFO. All right, this, this like, we, we might have to do this one more than once. Let's see. Hopefully we can pull it off in the first run. Uh, I mean, this one's not too bad. It's just literally, it depends on where the stuff moves. Yeah. All right, uh, pick your battle goals, guys. Uh, now that everybody knows what the mission is, this is basically, we don't need to kill everything. We need to kill at least three things total and run as fast as possible uh, to, to loot and not die. So pick your battle goals appropriately. I have to manually do mine. Oops, not that. Drop it on there, come on. All right, shuffle. Oh, jeez, that one's impossible. Right. Oh, they're impossible. All right, I, I wish I could take this one, guys. This card right here, I'm, I'm going to be taking the other one, so I, I can't. I'm going to show you guys the one that I'm not doing, um, just because it's two check marks, and I would love to do it. But okay. the the I have an option for one called limping, which is move only using basic move actions. This is a fucking run mission. Like the whole thing, it would be two check marks, oh but because it's a running mission, I can't. You know, there's no way I'll be able to pull that off. So. Not gonna be able to do this that. is the one I'm not taking because I have no freaking items. So I'd have to use items. Yeah. I think that would be three times, but yep. since I don't have any. Yep. I'm getting rid of this one too. This is ugly. Uh, only that's the one I had last time. Uh, hang on, hang on. Oh, only no, I had the short rest one. Yeah, that one would suck yeah. right now, Sako. You'd have to stand yeah. still for a turn. All right, everybody get their battle goals good. Yep. 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 Looks good. All right. Um then let's go ahead and get started here uh pick you know drop your oh shit 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 i forgot to take my mini off of the board son of a bitch um i'm gonna have to manually create that somehow how can i i guess i could just pull i could probably pull one out of a box and just do it that way yeah i think there, hopefully there's one in here <laughs> I knew I would run into headaches eventually for trying to do this manual. There we go, I got one. Cool. Uh, but now it's... Never mind, it was never connected anyways, because mine, mine's been, you know, not scriptable, so... All right. Mm -hmm. All right, I got one. Go ahead and bring your minis up. Um, ben, do you want to be in front, or do you want me to? I, I, I think I move go. faster than you, so you probably would want to be in front. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go in front, it, unless you just want to. Okay, no, go ahead. Um, so you would start then in one of the rows, or one of the squares in front, G. I'll start right here. Now go there. Oh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> no. Knocking me over. Rolling away. And now I'm on the hand. Bam. Uh, I gotta fix my health here. How can I do that without the health bar? There we go. I like some help. Keep dipping. Cool. Twelve, yeah, twelve is our max right now for you and IG. Cool. Uh, I'll get it for you, G. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, my health bar is white now for some reason. Oh, probably because I picked black and it's not my old mini. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. That will do. Uh, who are we missing? Fox? Yeah, Fox. Yeah, working on it. No problem. Missing what again? Uh, oh, my token. Yeah, I gotta put your mini up there. Mm. Oh, I didn't do All my right. experience from the last round. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hang on. How much experience did I get? I got. Oh, I gotta reset it. I still have mine there. I don't remember if I did mine or not. Well, yours automatically. Everybody else's happens automatically. Mine doesn't, because I have to. Manually, I don't have scripting online, so I'm at 71 experience, which is 95 is our goal. Yeah. I thought we had to hit like the little XP thing once we got it. Uh, would you? Yes, during the round. Yes. W were you not clicking yeah. the experience thing during the round? I keep forgetting to. Okay. So I'm not sure if I did or not. It would have <laughs> been two from like the curse thing. From the beginning. No, I had a I had a curse thing up, and then when it did the time damage, oh. I don't remember if I did the two or not. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you did or not. That was you know two weeks ago or something, three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Grab my modifiers. You might as well add it, Fox. It's not gonna hurt. Oh. Um, these are my modifiers, so uh, just because I have to do mine manually, I'll just put them up here. 
Uh, ben, you're probably going to need your your uh, token thing for uh, grappling or uh, strangling, so I'll put that up for you. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and pick cards, and we will get started. Here's your shackle G. Alright, <clears throat> so remember we've got to get both of these elites dead before we leave this room. Um, and then we're going to try to run through the door on the left. But both of these elites have to die before we leave. Otherwise the doors won't open in the order that we need them to. Uh, fuck, and that fire demon has four shield? He's low health, but... Oh, and he has two retaliate too, that sucks. That's insane. Four shields is going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, especially without any you know strong hitter over there on the right side to get him dead. Uh... He doesn't move very fast either, so he won't be able to keep up with us if we try to run past. Um, oh, I would still need somebody on this side for me to be able to hit him hard enough to get through that shield. We're going to end up having to kill more than just those two elites, because we're not going to be able yeah. to get this guy dead without without any decent ranged hits. Okay, I'm not going to do damage this round, but I'm going to set up to do well, more damage the next few rounds, and hopefully add some curses. Okay. I'm gonna be adding curses and maybe doing one damage. Alright. Um... Shit. Do the earth elementals have shield too? Or just the fires? Just the fire elementals. You can see it right below their health bar. You see that right over here, G? On that, uh... Oh, duh. Yeah, yep. okay. Now it also, if you look under there, it, he has a retaliation to at range to... So basically, if you hit him at all, you're going to be taking, uh, you know, anybody that hits him is going to be taking retaliation too. Um, Wait, the, uh, yeah, because you have to be in range three to not take it. Yeah, for the elite. And the other, the, elite, nine the, part, so. yeah, the other annoying part is that the fire elementals can even, on their turn, they can add more freaking shields. So they can have like five or six, which is super annoying. Getting him dead is going to be a problem. Uh, we might need to start over on that side, G, because I'll need somebody on the other side so that I can hit decently hard. Or I, I can actually jump behind him, but I'll need somebody in front of him. But that also means that we're kind of leaving everybody, you know, exposed for the elementals, for the stone elementals. Um, so did you want to swap which side you're starting on? <sighs> Maybe. What do you think, G? That's whatever you guys want to do. That's probably best, because he's going to be the hardest problem, is getting him dead. Getting 13 damage into the other elemental is going to suck too, but he doesn't have shield, so we can like whittle him down. Whereas the, the uh, elite flame elemental is going to take, or flame demon, is going to take a concerted effort, because with a four shield, we're going to have to hit him for seven damage, uh, you know, attack seven to get him dead, you know, quickly, or multiple attacks of five plus. Or preferably more him. Is that way there? He just dies on his turn. Uh, the shield is, shit, that's um, true. The wound. Ben, if you and can, he's not immune to wound. No, he's not. So Ben, if you can just wound him, we can just run and let him bleed him bleed out as he tries oh. to chase us. I can try to if I go in the middle. Do you have something you can wound him? You know, that's a good plan. Yeah, because if you can wound him at all, I can try to grant you some movement. If I start near, you know, in the middle, so that I can give you movement too. Um, like if I start here, and Ben, if you start like there or something then you could just move one and then wound him if you have something that can do that and then i'll i'll try to grant you some movement just so that you're not left behind because you, you don't move quite as fast actually really at this first stage it's not going to matter because we have to get that other elite dead anyway so but at least then you you know we'd get him hopefully you know dead or at least where we can ignore him for three rounds and let him die on his own man leaving these other guys alive though is just that's going to be so much damage that we're going to be having to just ignore while we try to run we can always split the group up if somebody has a lot of movement and a loop card to where they could literally just run and loop and then run back. That would be the most ideal. I have good movement, but not enough to do it by myself, I don't think. Uh, well, no, like, I mean, we move into the other room, so we have a way, like, we have people at the doors killing stuff as you run to the last room, into the last room, loop, and then a GTFO back towards us. Ah. Uh... Let's give it a shot. Uh, ben, do you think, do you have something you can wound him with? Yeah, I'm just looking to see what the best way to move, but I could just even do a basic movement. So yes, I do. I can wound him on my uh, first round. Okay. So, All right, then in that case, um, let me look at what I've got. I'll see if I can get some 
Oh shit, sorry guys. Okay, all right, Ben's still got his, so at least I'm not, I haven't, I haven't even looked at my cards yet. <laughs> uh, what is, shit, I'd like to, to get some damage into them as well, because if we're gonna, if, if the wound is what we're gonna rely on to get rid of the elite there, um, I don't know when these guys are gonna move. Uh, Sokka, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to set up my summon. Um, I'm going to have him set for anti-retaliation so he doesn't get retaliated against in case uh, we have to make some attacks against these things. Okay. Uh, he will not be able to kill them because he doesn't hit that hard for that, especially for that elite. That's a four shield. So he's going to just essentially act as a damage sponge for just a little bit. And uh, Real quick on that, can... though. Um, there's only so far, it doesn't look like... Well, hang on. Let me look at the map just in case. The only thing at all that retaliates so far is just that one elite. That's it. Nothing else in here. Um, there are some more fire demons at the end, but we don't need to kill them, and you don't need to put your zombie. Like basically, they only retaliate if you have, if they, if they, if you have your zombie hit them. That's when they'd retaliate. So there's uh, only there's mind. only two I'm total changing. enemies on the entire thing that would retaliate, and neither of them are, you know, important for you to have your guy hit them. Um, gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna summon then, and then uh, make a make a long movement. Uh, okay. I'll start kind of running towards the left. Okay. I assume we're gonna start grouping towards the left a little bit to uh, trim down that earth demon. Yeah. And pop that door open. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do if I can get a decent hit into the to the demon and to get this get that started. Uh, I don't think it'll be on the other side. I could potentially do that just to thin the herd a little bit. I'll plan on that and. Uh, grant some movement, I think. All right, I'm going to be going pretty early, um, and I'll try to grant some movement to see if I can give... Uh, well, depending on... Oh, shit, actually, that would be before you. When are you going, G? Uh, I'll be going pretty early on, and then I will be uh, moving up one in front of the elite fire, or the flame demon, the elite and wounding him. So. Okay. But pretty early on. All right, then I'm going to wait, and I'll have to go late, um, and then I'll try to get you some movement as well. All right, everybody ready to go? Cool. I'm going 83. Yep. So we are Fox first. Okay. Alright, so curse and curse range um, 3. Alright. Oh, that's your blow up curse too, huh? Yeah, that's the blow up curse. Alright. So I'm going to aim for this guy. It's literally just add two curses to modify a deck for that. And then attack one, uh, range three, and uh, add a curse of the target is oh, out of adjacent, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. Still an attack one. It's not, uh, yeah, it's not adjacent. That was my bad. Okay. Do you want to switch and go at initiative 25? We'd have to take the curses out. Sure. Yeah. All right, I'll pull the curses out. This is the start of the turn, anyways. Uh, I did not think of the whole adjacent thing. I was just like, yeah. No problem. We'll call it a, uh, a mulligan. All right, then you'll go at, at initiative 25, so you'll be uh, after Ben. All right, so Becky. Okay. All right. Ignore these. Let me get these cards out of your way. There you go. Uh, Fox, don't don't click the thing to put the curses back in next time. I'll put them. Normally you would. I'm just going to manually put them in since I already Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Perfectly fine. So we're going to use the bottom of 15, so at the start of your next five turns, perform a curse at a range of two. <laughs> and right. then the top of 83, which is my usual last yeah, your thing until the all end. All your granite attacks, cool. Yep. All right. And that's my stuff. All right, so both actives. So ben, your turn. Yeah. With any luck, you guys are going to be filling the the curse or the monster deck with curses the entire time, so we can <laughs> run without, yeah, without uh, actually taking any hits. I'm going to use the bottom of follow the change for basic movement to move up one in front of homeboy over here. Okay. Placing seems off compared to where the map is. Is it just me? Uh, it looks snapping a little into off. the center. Some of the enemies yeah, are off center too. Slightly to the left, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it looks normal. Oh no, you're right. Look at that demon ahead of me. He's yep. off too. Yep. No, you're right. They are. It's probably just the scripting for the for the layout for the map is. All right. Is that technically in front of him, or do I need to? No, I'm to... sorry. I moved. Okay. I, I moved you on accident. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right. So with that for my basic movement, and then I'm going to do uh, the top of Spike Knuckles, which is an attack of two, which isn't going to do anything. And even well, if I get a monster, wouldn't. 
Uh, bless Possibly. wouldn't, but if you get a... Oh, you don't have any plus threes, yeah, of course. Is there a plus three? Yeah. There are, but, but there are perks, yeah. But it does wound him, though. Okay. So... Yeah, it wouldn't have helped anyway. Yeah, but... No damage, but right, he is wounded, so... Dude is wounded, and okay. that's going to be it for my turn. So he'll live this round, and then two more rounds, is, if nobody does any damage to him. Um, so we just, you know... Uh, he's still going to retaliate, though. Uh... Wait, yeah, it's within range too, so it's not a yeah. It's just a, it's just two damage. So you just take two damage for that. Um, okay, within range. Is that two. disadvantage? Or no, because it's just not. It's not. A, it's not. Yeah, not exactly. It's not a modifier. Yeah. It's just a flat. Yeah. Like a damage shield. Yeah. And now, as long as nobody else hits him <sighs> or the other elemental, the, the other elite, the regulars don't have retaliation. It's just that one elite. Uh, yeah. So as long as nobody hits this elite fire demon or the other one, then nobody will take any retaliation damage this whole whole turn. Because um, we just don't need to, and we don't need to kill the other elite either. We just need to get out of there and run. All right, Fox, your turn. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the monsters, uh, the ones that you put back in his deck, and then and then I'll shuffle here. Okay. Well, I'm going to be adding another one anyway. Oh, All right, okay. so I'm going to attack uh, this one. Okay. This. Draw modifier minus one, so it's, it's literally not. Add a curse. Well, another curse, yeah. So that's already three in there. So we're off to a good start getting uh, curses in their deck. Okay. Uh, that is your turn, Fox. Yep. All right. I am at 83, so I'm after Sako. So Earth Demons. Uh, well, okay. They're not doing anything. Um, immobilize if they consume. Is that what that is? is only if they consume? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they're not. there's no Earth for them to consume. So just heal three self. They're not doing anything. So works out for us. Uh, flame demons. Uh, that Does he one. take a point now, since he was wounded? And it's the beginning of his turn, or would that yeah, be on the no, next? he takes it now. Yep. Okay. Uh, hopefully they don't have heals. I just realized I didn't think about that. If they have ways to heal themselves, that'll suck. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, so there's no ice to consume, so it's just an attack plus zero targeting all adjacent enemies. So it vanishes to you, um, all three of them, and they're not moving. So it's just two, two of them will attack you. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there's no consumption. So from the regular, actually, sorry, elites first. Um, it is attack two, Ben. So, uh, yeah, I can do enemy interface. I just can't do my own. Uh, two minus two, so no damage. Uh, and then the regular Ben is attack two, uh, plus two, so four damage. <laughs> well, shit, that was looking great for a second there. Uh, all right, Sarko, your turn. Okay, uh, I will pull the cards up. First, I will summon. Oh, that's weird. They'll lay down. Yeah, you can just pull it over and flip it. Flip it, flip it over and reverse it. Then I don't remember what that what that line was. Oh, it's because they're both selected. Did you select out with them both? So did you select and then just select them. There you go. There it is. Uh, so I will summon a raging corpse, and then I will move four away. So let's pull that thing out really quick here. Raging corpse. And yeah. Uh, put it, Sako. Put him. Can you drop him here? Is that yeah. what your intent was? Uh huh. Perfect. All right. Cool. Then I can get a decent hit off. Then I was I actually wasn't thinking I'd be able to get this one uh, in this round, but. There you go, and uh, so I'll do that, and then uh, four movement speed uh, for my character. Uh, I'll start moving her to the left. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Right. Okay. Eight. Yep. Why is that not centered? Yeah, the, the, the map arc Absolutely. isn't quite lined yeah. up. It's fine. Doesn't matter as long as it's still on the hex. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and move my card into that, and then I also get uh, experience for that. I get uh, two experience. Yeah, for summoning the raging corpse. And then that one needs to go in your active, obviously. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use one of them for move three to get uh, right here. I was gonna go for well, shit. Do I even? It's not going to do anything except for do some damage to them, and I don't need to... Pu uh, I guess I could push that guy up. Shit. Should I do that, or should I have I to uh, move three? check the laundry real quick. I'll be right back. Sure. 
I'm gonna just move. I'm gonna do move three to get here, and I'll just do a basic attack. Uh, ben, you're within range three. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do a move three, G, or do you want to stay where you are? Oh, we're we're moving for the left side. Yeah. Uh, door, right. Yep. Yeah. Might as well start moving that way then. You could get all the way over here if you wanted to, at least. Oh, are you gonna stand on Becky's head? That's cool too. I right, top of her. Okay. No wonder I look so tall. Uh, let's see. So that was just my move three. I'm gonna do a basic <sighs> attack. Uh, I was gonna intended to do. Uh, oh shit! Actually, oh, I still could, but not against. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll get you. Yeah. I'll get you. Okay. Thank you. If you if you rotate your camera and face it down, it's really easy to see. Like okay. just you can always obviously move it back, but. Uh, face it down so that you can do your movement and then you can you know rotate it back up again all right so initially i was i was wanting to do uh that attack at the top of unbreakable wall uh but i don't have a layup for that and i don't really i could hit this guy with it the one that ben had knocked over but i'm just gonna do a basic attack against the earth demon here uh, so we can start putting because remember we don't care about any damage to the rest of these guys all we care about is getting these two elites dead so i'm just gonna do basic attack against him Minus one. All right. Uh, so two minus one is still one. One damage to him, and that is it for my turn. All right. Uh, time to pick cards. What was my battle goal? Okay. Did I? No, I didn't get experience because I didn't do the break the wall. <coughs> I'm gonna. Oh shit! He's got a trap on the other side of him. That would be a, a nice free, you know, bonus damage if we can get him into that trap. Uh, right now, trap damage is three. Ben, do you have anything that would work for that? Can you jump up by him and swing him or anything? You'd need to, be able to get to like here. Push would work great. Yeah, if you can get to there and push him, that would work. Um, okay. You don't. It'd have to be this hex here for you to push. Uh. Or here, either one of those. Um, yeah. But you could get there through me, so either one of those would be fine. And those are two away, two away, right? From you, yeah, both of them are. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so if you can get him into that, uh, I'm not going to have a layup unless somebody can get into the hex where he's standing now. When are you, when, can, do you, you do have something to be able to do that, G? Yeah, I'm just double checking. I know I have one, I'm just going to double check. Okay. Oh, shit, I could maybe get a wound off on him as well. And he's got a lot of health, so that, that wound would potentially add up to a good amount of damage here. Uh, once you've got that figured out, G, let me know where you're going to be, what your plan is, and then I'll work around that to try to get a wound on him. Sokka, what you're, what you're looking at here? I'm looking at uh, mid to late, and uh, I will uh, grant someone some some strength uh, for a very powerful hit. Strengthen uh, specifically the, the the condition strengthen is what you're saying. Uh, attack, whatever it's called, uh, a very very strong attack. Are you if, granting uh, an attack, or are you granting strengthen? Is what I'm asking. Strengthen is a condition. Uh, apologies, granting. A very strong attack okay. to someone, to an ally, not to just your undead. To to one ally. Interesting. Okay. And they need to be in melee range with the target. Obviously, it's not a range attack. Uh, it just says grant an ally this, and it doesn't have a, a range thing to okay. it. Yeah, so it I'm assuming it's then. just melee attack. All right. And it's a lot, so um, it'll it'll be definitely worth it. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be going mid to late. Okay. Probably uh, closer closer to late than let's, anything else. Let's finish this round, guys, and then we'll call it for the night. Uh, unless you guys want to call it now. We're, we're close to time. What do you guys want to do? We can finish the round. Right. Yeah, just finish the round out. Okay. Um, What is more important, hitting somebody or healing Ben at this point? Because I can do one or the other unless I want to start losing cards. 
Ben? Um, do you have you don't have a whole lot of self heal, do you? Yeah, I have a couple of them, and so there's a couple of them, like a couple can... of points, and that's about it. So. Okay, because this round I can heal you fairly well. There is a small side effect, but I can fix that side effect <laughs> the next round. I remember that. <laughs> 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 you're you're gonna feel real bad heal. after. It's a heal, but you're gonna feel bad. Uh, <laughs> um, Just ignore the tail. He's gonna be I mean, surrounded. Be Ben's gonna be right in the middle of three of these uh, earth demons, so he's mm. probably gonna take some hits. So heal probably not a bad idea. What do you think, G? Okay. Worse than I guess. All right. All right. Bit. So there, and then we'll do. Yeah, screw it. We'll add that in there too. All right. So I'll go fairly early then. Fox, what you got? I'm going very early. Uh, I need somebody beside an enemy, and I'm going to add, I think, another curse. Okay. Um, ben, when is... Did you did you get that figured out? Are you going to be able to push him into the trap? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be going pretty early on, and I have a uh, possible double attack plus push on him. So. Okay. All right. Uh, then in that case, I'm going to plan on trying to get to the other side of him. Wait, hang on. You, are you going to be uh, in that in that that spot, G? Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to be about? moving. Yeah, moving up so that way I can uh, push him in there. So, uh, you want me to go to the one where you just drop the black arrow? Well, I no. If that was your, if I was just asking if that was your intent or not, because you you don't have to, like yeah, you'd only have to be like the only places you could push him would be there or here. Okay. Um, why do I, I have I have a banner spear card in my cards all of a sudden? Because uh, you stole my card. How, how you can't did I have steal that? That's your mine. card? I was all the way up here. <laughs> that is that was one of my like not even used. That's one want to make cards. sure. Uh, I, I guess this card that I'm trying to play is just going to be within an adjacent ally. I guess. Uh, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm just checking mine. Uh, which card? Uh, here, let me look at it. Eternal torment is what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. uh no. Uh, um, command the wretched. Okay. Uh, no, that there's no range limited at all. So you could do that. Even if we were across the map, you'd be able to do that. That is a lost card, oh. though. That is a big <sighs> attack, and that's not that. Like this is a good time for it because yeah. we just need to get this elite dead and then run. Yeah, uh, yeah this is just more about we're not going to kill everybody. We're just focusing on yeah. the elites and running. Exactly. So. Yeah. So that's not. This isn't a bad choice. Normally, I would not suggest using uh, lost cards early on, but but yeah, yeah. this is a good time for that for sure. All right, then in Who that case... Who the hardest between you and Ben? Um, usually me. It really it depends on what the... There's a lot of niche things um, for it. Gotcha. But, all, right. Uh, all right. So in that case, then, I'm not going to have anybody close enough for him to be able to do a uh, that kind of a hit to put a wound on him. Uh, how early, Ben? You said early, but how early are we talking? I, early? I don't really know how... Descriptive, I can be. Can I say quarters, or is that too yeah, much? Yeah, quarters is fine. Bad. Quarters is fine. Okay, well, I'm going to be in the first quarter. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to jump to the other side then, at least as far as I can, and I'll try to. Oh, shit, I, I might as well just do it before he gets pushed. Yeah, I may as well. Um, nobody's going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a basic attack. I don't. I don't have any. Uh, uh, decent hits. Like, oh, I could put up banners, though. Shit. Mm. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is analysis paralysis. Uh, all right, I'm just going to give you guys some movement, and then I'll uh, and then I'll do, a, a, you know, whatever kind of a hit I can arrange. Um, I'll plan on that, I think. Maybe. Maybe I can get that pulled off. Uh, and I'll be going... Uh, pretty early. All right. Everybody got cards up? Yep. Yep. All right. I'm going at 32. So I will be after Fox before Sako. Uh, well, Flame Demon's first, so he takes his uh, tick from the wound, G. All right. Let me look at that card. Demons are always the most complicated ones for what their things are doing. All right, so move minus one. Um, start with the elite, Ben, if you would move him real quick. Uh, yeah, so the, the elite first. Move is whatever whatever thing says minus one. He has, what's that? Three. Three. With flight, so two. Okay. Coming down. OK. 
the next way, right? And probably stop in front of that corpse. Uh, well, whoever, target. whoever, yeah, or, exactly, yeah, the, the uh, okay. raging corpse would be his target, yes. Okay. Uh, and then they're each going to create traps, so I'm just going to copy these. All right, so there's three of them. Uh, they are four damage traps, but there is no consume, uh, there's no fire for them to consume, right? Uh, no, I consume any some? element. There's no elements up. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, so he moved first. There's no attacks or anything. He just move minus one and then drop a trap. Each of these are four damage traps, which uh, they're all going to be close to them, which does mean there's going to be an inconveniently placed one right here in the middle. <laughs> um, he doesn't need to move because he's already in range, and this guy would be moved to there. So here, these four damage traps are just going to be kind of in the way. Here we go. <clears throat> Actually, this one would be here. All right, that's it for them. Your turn, G. Messes up the board a bunch, but apart from that, not, not a real threat so far. Built this, uh... Yeah, we'll figure it out. What? Uh, just as I was going to say, the ally grant thing I have, does that have to happen before the ally swings, or is that... Uh, an addition to the allies move on your turn any ally that is adjacent to an enemy can do an attack that, that is on your with using your card okay. yeah okay there is no it movement just... associated it's only on your turn yeah i just want to make sure that it didn't have to happen prior to that person's swing no it'll happen on your turn um which i should be yeah i'll be next to him at that time so all right, so I'm going to start with the bottom of Chokehold to move, so closer than what a charity did. Uh, and then I'm going to use the top of Slamming Shove, which is uh, an attack of three, push of two, a possible move of two, and another attack of three. Cool. So your attack. Uh, oh, yeah. Four. That's four, right? Yep. Yep. And it could be an up to a two push, but I'll just push him back one to the trap. Okay. That would set him off, right? Yep. I'll disable the trap. The trap is three damage, so oh, uh, go ahead and go ahead and yeah, do the three damage. Do your other attack, and I'll turn the trap off. Uh, well, sh now you can't do. Uh, hang on. You I move move? Yeah, you get to move. Cool. In the yeah. Of there. Yep. Oh, oh shit! That's so much nicer. Now, uh, shit. Now I should have picked sure. the card. <laughs> Sorry, dude. No, you're fine. I, I, I didn't realize I you were going to be moving. Also, yeah. So that yeah. actually. That's fine. I I, it, I still get a good hit off on him, hopefully. Is there if you any, don't kill uh, him. Does it matter which space I move to? Because I have a movement of two, so I can go to uh, anywhere around him. No, go ahead. Move, so. move as far as you can, so we can get through okay. the door. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to go over there, and another attack of three, possibly. Okay, so another attack of three. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to take a guy, take that a couple of rounds to get through that guy, but... Ben just chewed him right up. But for Lost 13, card, he, did, he did. Yeah, it was for sure. 11 damage on him. Sweet. All right. Um, yep, Becky. Okay. So. Well, god damn it, you ruined all my fucking plans because now you're too far. You were such. <laughs> oh, crap. God <laughs> Sorry. Then, wait, wait, would one all square back be. Stuff. Would, uh, how far is uh, it? One to, it's a range of three. Yeah. So I was going to heal him and then move him and use the darkness to curse. <laughs> it's such a jerk. I could right, move back. So I could do. Here. You could do one, the move three two, first. Yeah, you three, went up darkness. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not gonna be able to curse anything, but all right. You get a heal of five, and now darkness is up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, oh you're also poisoned. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yes, you Thank are you. also poisoned, but I can fix that the next draft. That's yes, all right. I'll live. Uh, where is poison? There's poison. You got me? Okay. Yeah. Did you heal yourself? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh! No! I'm so unstable. I gotcha. <laughs> all right, Fox, what you doing? Uh, um. Becky, any experience for yours? Uh, ooh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, start of your turn, curse two, Becky. <laughs> hmm? You had a curse two at the start of your turn because of your active ability. Yeah. Oh, yes. And then move that. Don't forget to move the token uh, along that track two so you get the experience for that. Just one curse, though, right? Yeah, well, sorry, curse range two is what I meant. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Bone Chipper, where, or Bone Chipper, where exactly are you? Because you're like between two squares for me. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when you guys. Fuck you. Okay. Away from me, I think. Yeah. It's off center like, to me too, but it's off. not like yeah. it's not it's not that bad. Like I can see to me at least they all look like off center but okay. still arranged. Uh, here I'll drop that in, in Discord yeah, I'm, box. I'm actually right adjacent to uh Just Hero. northwest of you. Yeah, yeah. Hyrule, that's okay. Hard. Yeah, in between. Alright. So uh this earth demon right here is gonna be disarmed. Cool. And uh Rev, you're gonna do an attack. Two. Okay. Uh, uh, two. Oh, to this guy. Yeah. Okay. With using my modifier or yours. Target one enemy at any range that is adjacent to an ally. Oh, wait. So That's it's medium range. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So that draw modifier. Okay. So it's attack one. And I add a curse to the deck. All right. And give myself an execute. Rolling in them curses. Yeah. Alright, that if your turn? Yeah. Alright, then uh, I had a different plan initially, but this actually works better, I think. Um, let's see, can I get... Put the disarm on that guy? Yeah, on this guy, it was a disarm on this guy, Fox? One right beside you. Right, okay. Alright. Uh, where is disarm? Right here. Yep, yeah. cool. All right. Um, let's see. I could. You. I could actually hit him and him if I did the top of resolve courage and immobilize him. I wouldn't be moving as far as I'd like, but I can give you guys some movement uh, within range two. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'll do that. That that'll give Becky and uh, Sako at least a little bit more movement. Uh, Fox, you're still. You're too. You'll be too far back for me to be able to grant you any. All right, so I'm going to jump here. Um, I w initially was planning on wounding him, but Ben already did enough damage to him that it won't be necessary here. So I'm going to jump to here uh, using the bottom of uh, combined effort. So move two, I only, needed, I only used one. Grant two allies within range two, move two. So uh, Fox, and, sorry, uh, uh, Becky and Sako, both of you can move two if you want. Uh, actually, I could get Ben further ahead, but you know, you, Fox, Fox and Sako probably, or sorry, uh, Becky and Sako probably need it more. Yeah, since I'm already up farther. Okay. So yeah, uh, my plan, my plan is to like stay in this room as much as possible and just block the door, um, if I can. Okay. So that means okay. Uh, all right. The, the way back. That means all these guys are going to be wailing on you while we're running, though. Yeah. I don't really have a plan for that yet, but. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really anywhere for me to move closer with just two, so... Well, so Sokko was here. You could you could each move up one, or you could let Sokko leapfrog you to move to the, to the, you know, the one north of you here. That's fine. If he wants to do that, then Ben could move up one more and be closer to the door. Or That's fine with me. Sokko, do you want to go, do you want to go to this okay, X right here? Um, uh... It's a move too, so you can go, you can move there if you want. These, this guy's going to be dead, so you don't have to worry about him hitting you. Yeah, if Becky doesn't need it, if nobody needs it, then I'll, I'll take that hex. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then Ben can move. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can move. You can open the door and move into the door, G, unless you have a, you know, a reason that. You oh, was that a movement of water? Uh, don't two? we have to kill, you kill the? Him first. Oh, oh yeah, we have to open the door and don't yep. kill him, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll be waiting there. Then. Okay. All right. So as long as I don't fuck this up, uh, I'm going to be using then the top of resolved courage for this uh, arrangement. It'll be the elite and this guy. Uh, the kind of hammerhead shape here with an immobilize. So attack three. Um, I could use my goggles to make sure that I don't pull something bad. But and attack three. He's only, he's got two health left. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my goggles just in case. It's on the entire action, so it'll be uh, an advantage for both of them. All right. <clears throat> so oh, and I have to pull them manually. So first guy to the elite. Flip. Attack plus two, hell yeah. Okay. And attack plus one. Alright, so uh, to the elite is dead. There we go. And attack two, uh, well, attack three rather, uh, with immobilize and advantage on the other one. Alright, plus one. So attack four at the other one. And immobilize. And that is it for my turn. 
Uh, Soccer, that brings us to you. Ooh, okay, well, since the big guy is dead, maybe I won't waste the, uh, the thing now, huh? I could save it. Oh, we, still have to kill, uh, we still have to kill two more elites, right? Yeah, that was a lost card. Yeah, I would definitely save yeah. it. So do it as a basic action or, you know, rearrange mm -hmm. your plan so that you don't waste the card for sure. Yeah, yeah. So if we run into another elite, then I'll use that to buff and I get you going with that. So if that's the case, grant one of your summons. Here's our... Uh, one experience, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Then I guess I'll just attack then. Um, oh. Ooh. I just finished my battle. Let me goal see too. really quick here. Uh, two, two, five, nine. Okay. Um, I guess then what I will do is change of plans. Oh, uh, don't forget to move your zombie first, too. Move and attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and do the zombie. You could have him if you wanted to. Remember, if you hit the the, the elite, then he would retaliate mm -hmm. and take damage. But you could just have him hit the regular one if you wanted. Yeah, he's going to die anyway next turn because he still has the, uh, the yeah, yeah. status ailment on him. Yep. So I'll just have the Raging Corpse attack the Flame Demon. Okay. That's an attack of three, I believe. Yep. So he's but got he a shield three, three shields, so, but any, so. anything, yeah, you roll positive will still be damage. There you go, so one damage. Positive. Oh, yeah. One damage, boom. Take that, take that. Uh, as for movements, I guess we'll go ahead and have him hang out for just a bit. He'll be our damage sponge. Uh, and for uh, cards... Okay, so, so, yeah, so keep that in mind that if he doesn't move, the, all of those guys are going to focus him because he's the closest. Uh, the, all the fire demons will focus that, that zombie. They'll, they'll, that's who they will try to attack when their turn can come up. They won't try to move oh. towards us. They'll move towards him and attack him. The elite will be dead first. The elite will die. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fire, It'll just be yeah. the two, the other like two fire demons, which is totally yeah. fine. Like, if you're using yeah. him as bait on purpose, that's totally fine. <laughs> your, the only yeah. other option would be to move him to here anyway. Oh, shit. Uh, well, okay. Big Toki. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, you could move him over here if you wanted to, but they would just end up kind of following him anyways. So. Yeah, let's lure them. Um, I'm going to move it down here. Okay. Um, I kind of want to, like, give them space so we could run through or at least buy us some time while we go upstairs okay. or go up to the left. That keeps uh, them... That, that also kind of helps uh, Fox from, from getting wiped out, too, because mm -hmm, at least they'll focus mm -hmm. on the zombie. Works for me. All right. All right. And then as for her... Uh, shoot. See, I was going to use the curse thing. Instead of moving, you know what I mean? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, grants uh, summon anything adjacent to the target a curse ability. Oh, yeah, you don't. So don't move him. Put him there. That's still fine. Like he's still he's still bait wherever he's there or here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't change okay. anything. He's still good. Okay. Uh, so I guess then. Uh, yeah, I'll. Grant him the curse ability. Okay, so you're gonna per well f first. That's putting a curse in their deck because he's been in the range five. So uh, you'll come down here and where this deck is, click the little curse yeah. icon to the bottom left of it. There you go. Oh, got it. Uh, right now, guys, there are six curses in that monster deck. So <laughs> There's gonna be more. I put in three of them. <laughs> Yay. Yep. So uh, and now he also Sako the. You, you put the curse on him, but you can have uh, on the enemy. Uh, you can, assuming it was this guy here, you can have him do an attack uh, against him as well. So it'll be attack three. Okay, attack three. Oh, sorry, then, attack plus then. zero. So yeah, it's attack three. It's his regular attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then uh, draw attack modifier here. Yep. Boom. Plus two. That kills him. Yep. And then it puts up darkness as well. And puts up a darkness. Defeat. Oh, that's and what I forgot to do. There's darkness. already darkness up. Uh, would have been wait. No, it's still the same turn, so it would still be up. Yeah. Okay, darkness is now up. He's good to go. And then for my second portion, I am not going to grant the ally. I'm going to save that card. Instead, I'm going to use the movement for movement two. Okay. And I'll just move it uh, off the board. There you go. Uh, it doesn't like to stay. 
I think because technically that's where the thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the hex alignment it looks different for you guys than it does for me. Like for me, it's all lined. Like it's a little bit off center, but not not as drastic as it seems to be for you guys. So like it looks like he's in the center of three different hexes. Oh really? Point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Hopefully. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe before the, the before next week. Yeah, I want to see it. Did you just drop that in there, Sarko? Is that what that was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So remember that first time we started playing, the map was like all the wrong size? That's what this is. It, it, remember, it was super yeah. tiny. Yeah. Like all those, those hexes are the wrong size. They're not supposed to be that big. Um, like the, your little, the bottom stuff, the standees mostly fill the hex. So yeah, it's definitely all messed up. But that's right. Better than not getting to play it all tonight. So. Um, but if the thing is fixed before next week, then we can, you know, do the regular update and do it that way. But. We'll see. All right, then. <clears throat> All right. I am going to, uh... yeah, I think I'm good. All right. Then that brings us to the demon's turn, and then we'll call it here. Um, demon is going to, oh, there's two of them left, so it'll be this guy first. Uh, attack plus zero. Wait, so they're not moving? They're... If he's just standing still, then we might be looking out here a little bit. Uh... Oh, it's a range of four. Oh, it's range four. Yep. All right. Uh, Earth not up, though? No Earth. No. Alright, so no attack, Earth. attack zero. Then uh, he's actually got equidistant options here between me, Becky, uh, Fox, he's and the zombie. So I'm going to have him hit me. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this guy? Yeah. He's disarmed. Disarmed. Oh, he's shit. Disarmed. Yep. Alright, never mind. Alright, so this guy, though. Uh, Okay, win. so this is <laughs> this is gonna screw him a little bit, yeah. So so this guy is immobilized, but I'm the closest target, so he still has to focus me. He does, you don't get to choose, you know, a, a further target, so he still has to focus me, but he can't move, which means that he has to make the attack with disadvantage. So it is an attack of three. Curse. Yeah, let's see. Uh, curse. <laughs> nice. uh, well, shit, that's a little bit of a waste, but Fox, your your uh, curse. Wait, which one was trying to attack? Because this, this one has no movement. Like, he has no range. Yeah, he's still attacked at disadvantage, though. Yeah. So, uh, okay. so this guy here, he his focus would be me, because he can't yes. move. His focus would be me. Then he can't move because of uh, because of immobilization, which means it's a disadvantage. With oh, but he has the range four. Okay, range four. I, I yeah. see. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, yes. With okay. this advantage, he pulled the curse, though, Fox, which sets off your curse trigger. Nice. So, oh. he, so he's dead. Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah. And that card, you know, loss or discard, whatever it is. Uh, lost. Then the yeah. fire demon dies, the flame demon dies, right? Well, on this, no, because uh, he already has his turn. turn. Yeah, on his next turn, yeah. he will. Yeah. Uh, yeah, next turn he's yeah. dead, but that opens this door. Oh, yeah, the first uh, demon died, yeah. Okay. The first elite okay. died. All right. Go ahead, Fox. All right, so that's what we'll be dealing with next week. <laughs> oh, what the hell are those? <laughs> uh, new guys, stone golems. Robots. Stone golems. Yeah, uh, they Wait, they it... shield constantly too. By the way, They're, like a lot of their abilities will put up another shield. Uh, oh, there's an elite in the back. Oh, okay. So this we have to kill this one. The the elite that's in the back there with two shield. We have to get. Oh, hit okay. Them. This one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because okay. So what basically what we're looking at here, guys, for next week. I know you know we'll, we'll just go over this again next week when we start. But this flame demon is gonna die as soon. Oh shit. It wasn't that door. No, that was door. It is. Never mind. Yeah, we did it's it right. That door. No, we did it right. It's the, yeah, we did it the right. The flame demon is gonna die. It's gonna open this door, yeah, and then okay. once we kill this one, oops, here. Not that door. It'll be this door. Yeah, it'll open. be no. Once we that. What I mean is, once we kill this. Door. That stone golem. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that stone golem. This door will open. Yeah. And then the treasure that we need is right after that door. So all we need to do, all all that's left to do is. Uh, this th this flame demon is going to die on his own. It just the, the wound will take care of him as soon as his turn starts. So all that we need to do is run in there, kill this elite stone golem. Oh, that I'm jumping. As soon as that stone golem dies, this door will open. There's a treasure chest on the other side. There's a bunch more you know flame demons and shit in there. But we need to run in, grab the treasure, and then run back out. Right? Yes. Run in, grab the treasure, and then GCFO. Okay. All right. Fine. What if I land right in that square, I could do a swing three on that elite stone golem and put him through two traps. Is that correct? If I was on the in between those two guys, uh, the from not from there. No. Um, okay. If you can get there, let's see. If you could get there. Oh shit! Yes, you could. Yeah, you could. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you're yeah, if you're here, you could swing I'm him here. into this one and then to that one. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that'd be six damage to him right off the bat. Uh, cool. 
which the which trap damage ignores shields too, by the way. So uh, it wouldn't matter that it'd be it'd be down to five health with two shield left. Um, all right, so that'll be probably our starting plan for next week. Then um, everybody good for for next week? I suppose I should have asked that. Mm -hmm. uh, I.